do you think Kaiba would look like in like uh, like a, a shitty live action movie style? Can that be a style? Yeah, like Dragon Ball li- Evolution Kaiba. Oh man! So first of all, his uh, he would just be wearing a business suit all the time. You wouldn't wear that fancy white getup that he wore for the, most the, of Yu Gi Oh. I know the one you're with the the big uh, neck collar. And yeah, the, and then the cape. Well, it's not a cape, but it might as well it's, be. It's a like cape. a cape. It's a coat that always sticks out like maximum starch. Yeah, and and they would get some, they would get someone who doesn't fit to uh, to play to play Kaiba oh, because uh, because because star power. Shia LaBeouf as Seto Kaiba. Okay, that would fit though. That would be Shia LaBeouf as Seto Kaiba would be great though. That that would, that would, what would be, be like a, a bad casting. Uh, I don't know someone who doesn't emote a whole lot because with Kaiba, you need someone who's maximum smug, right? Yeah. So you need some... angst. Angst, a, a comp, the right combination of angst and smug. So Always Shia gotta be La- talking people down. He's a master of arrogant trash talking. Him and Vegeta. Yeah. So not having any, so having somebody who isn't good at that is just. What about would, the the kid from the original Spider Man trilogy? Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Seto Kaiba. There you go. That's a solid F the choice. Most reserved little quiet dude. Yeah, he'd be a better Yugi, honestly. Yeah. And he, I don't think you'd even be that good at Yugi. Because you need to have. Okay, now here's the real question: Would a live action Yu Gi Oh? Would it have two separate actors playing um, playing young Yu Gi and old Yu Gi? Yes, because it's America, and they would have to be completely contrasting. Okay, so you have young Yu Gi being played by uh, by Frodo from Lord of the w- the Rings. That character, I forget what his name is. Ah, uh, shit! I know who you're talking about. I know who. Yeah, it, it's him. And then, and then, Big Yugi would be played by Terry Crews, with, with the, with the. I was gonna say off. something like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it works even better because Terry Crews is black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cross racial casting. <laughs> hey, oh, well, actually, hey, that we're... makes sense. He's the Pharaoh. He's from Egypt. <laughs> yeah, it makes so more he's... sense than the show did. <laughs> and you know what? The people wouldn't notice it. They'd be like, "Hey, is Yugi grow taller?" Hmm. Something seems different about him. Where does hair go? <laughs> okay, that would be a terrible adaptation. You just remove his hair. Yeah. That would be that would be fucking. But awful. Americans would find it weird, so we would have to have very normal hair. By the way, you didn't mute me again this time, did you? No, you were you were you were audible. That's good, because I, I don't want I don't want that entire conversation to be just uh, removed. That would suck. You you started because you mentioned that you were getting uh, you got a recommendation for uh, yeah from Draw artists. Free, drawing uh, drawing Kaiba in different styles, and uh, and I'm just like Jojo Kaiba, we've come so far, but how many tomatoes have we seen? In the what? end, it didn't even matter because there's no tomatoes. We should get some ketchup. <sighs> I have a tomato in my hand. So, if I remember correctly, I think we're on our way to the Dark Lord's Tower. Oh, cool. So this game's almost over, then. Owlet? Owlet. Okay, good. I thought I was I thought I was looking at the thing that shouldn't be named for a second. Oh, bother. No, those are not twerkies. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get to see more of them. Get to see the palette swap of the twerky. Uh, imagine your face was stuck on a on a turkey's ass, and and you're just like, oh god, that's like in uh, in that one season of uh, that one episode of uh, Jackie Chan Adventures where the dude had a had an oni mask on, like stuck to his ass, yeah. and then the other dude's like, oh uh, brother, that's um not good. I vaguely remember that. That's probably my least remembered season of Jackie Chan was the Oni Mask season. Cause, cause it had less uncle in it. I guess. Uncle's yeah. Shit wasn't effective. I, I remember just, I the. I don't know that I ever saw it outside of the time we watched it. Probably the time I watched it. You I, know. I missed it on TV completely. I guess. You know. Same here. 
Like, Terracudo I, was cool. He's just this really chill Oni boss. He's like, oh, whatever, I knew you'd fail. We'll get him eventually. You know, I watched it too, right? I, I never watched it until we watched it together either. I, ne I never, never. Um, I, I it was on, it was on TV, but I, I guess at that point they moved Jackie Chan Adventures to a to a more unreasonable time. Maybe just because they wanted that show to end. Yeah, they do and that. It a got lot. a season they... five with fucking Drago, the broke ass son of Shendu. <laughs> I liked him. See, I liked it got the... Terracudo liked... season was it wasn't bad. It was just kind of forgettable. And then the fifth season was funny bad. It was great. It was just this dude who is just not powerful at all. He has to he has to hitch rides on boats. His fucking the season lair. one bad guys. The mooks refuse to work for him. He's not good enough for them. <laughs> his, he his has to get some punk ass white kids, turn them into dragons, and live in a fucking junkyard. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. His lair is literally a junkyard. What a loser Drago was. <laughs> this is great. It's, Welcome it's to great. Metopia, where we just talk about everything but the game. There's not a whole I was lot wondering, going on. I was not going to mention it in, uh, for the longest see time. How I was long hoping, we go. I was hoping we'd we get to the very end of the stream and be like, okay, so that, so welcome to Metopia. Yeah. Just no the problem. the always sunny gang take on a dark lord. Hey, by the way, <laughs> we're fighting the dark lord. <laughs> just having some unrelated pop culture conversation. Meanwhile. There was a there was a writing prompt I saw on the writer prompt subreddit and uh, and it was the uh, no it wasn't on that it was on the it was on the who would win subreddit and it was just uh, a treatment of uh, the always sunny gang trying to fight Darth Maul yeah and it was in the style of like fucking an always sunny episode it was great you know who won uh Darth Maul. No, the always sunny dudes because they because anything that good that happens to them they luck into and Darth Maul got punked out because they didn't uh, do upkeep on their bar so a roof tile fell on his head. Oh, okay, and that is of course enough to kill Darth Maul. <laughs> I don't know if he died. I think he just got knocked out. They're just like, okay, let's bury him. <laughs> well, what does what does Zelrog want? Camo tank. Oh, okay. Sure. Go for it. Is there a post game for this game at all? Oh, uh, there is, yeah. Hmm. That's actually what, basically we just described Slayers, though, is just a group of heroes that kind of go about their business without dwelling on the fact that they're heroes. Just kind of talk about other shit. Yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, if Quentin Tarantino did, like, a high fantasy series. Yeah. It's just those kinds of conversations. Man, people stereotype orcs a whole lot. What do you mean? Well, they say that they're all evil, but I've known plenty of nice orcs. Well, I know that, but it, but it's the orc society that's all that's all bad. Isn't that considered racist? I don't know. Is it considered racist that that like elves are supposed to be stuck up? And I've met plenty of fucking stuck up elves. You're hey, you're just saying that. No, I'm just I'm talking. Oh, you're talking very quietly. I was. Is this is this from Blight or is this like a Pulp Fiction thing? It's a Pulp Fiction thing. What Blight? What the fuck bright, is Blight? Bright, not Blight. Bright. <laughs> I've never seen. Will be called Blight. <laughs> I've never seen Bright. I know only of it by second hand. I know this one uh, woman called Lindsay Ellis did like a whole breakdown, uh, where she compared it negatively to Crash. <laughs> And it, and if you've seen, oh yeah, <laughs> it was it was considered to be the worst movie to ever win an Oscar. Oh, for best picture. Yeah. <clears throat> it has like a solid scene of Sandra Bullock acting like a racist, saying like, "Was she I don't want to give him. In a I don't want to give light? him." No, it was like... Or was she like a villain? I've never seen Crash, so... I don't know, I just know the scene out of context is... Her going... Is her going... I don't want to give him my spare key so we can invite all his gangbanger friends. He's like... She's like talking about this like... Hapless black worker. Yeah. And then... He's like, oh, suddenly if I... If I get worried about my thing, I'm considered a racist. It's just like... 
who will stay up and be on the lookout? Um... Well, Corrin is a martial arts master. I was gonna say that, but... Judy's a hard, a hard-working party girl, so yeah. she, she's, she's used to all-nighters. I'd say her. Already on it. Hey. I don't know, do flowers sleep? Oh. You lonely? Hey. <laughs> Pose. Can't sleep either, huh? <laughs> I'm a tank now. You, I'm just think, I'm just thinking of, uh, it's like you're, you're a tank. Like, uh, uh, Kiroshi's a flower and Lane's a bear. Yes. Lane from Lane's Experial, a a Serial Experiments Lane just it's wants a, to be a bear. She's just wearing a bear outfit at home. Hey, Dad, can you tell me about computers? And he's like, I fucking love computers. Sure. Oh, hello. Okay. I, I don't know. See, I'm just, I'm just seeing the, the snake... Hey, it's dead. Wait, why is the battle still going on? Wait, well, there was another attack. That's weird. This game must be glitched. Wait, why are we still talking about Lane? I'm confused. I was talking about the game. It just kept going despite all the enemies being dead. That was weird. Oh, okay. It attacked thin air. I, I don't... <laughs> oh, I, I've been oh. forgiven, apparently. How long did that know, last? I didn't even know that that, uh, that he was angry at you. Uh, uh oh. Wait, what? But not those, those again. Those are the last three. You can't do that. That's not fair. Wait, guys. It keeps it happening. It keeps happening. What's this? The, the third time now? Shut up. I will say this for Ganondorf. He's nothing if not consistent. It, that is actually true. Your new friends are gone too. His castle's ahead. Head there, and I'm sure you'll find them. Oh, you gotta solo the. Oh, fucking... you bet I will. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, I'm still a tank. I'm still. Most observant of you. Don't patronize me. This time, the Dark Lord couldn't seal away your power. You gonna become a priest again? Perhaps your divine powers have grown during your journey. I am most proud of you, my child. Are you son of a of a god in this game? Oh, wasn't it? Isn't the voice like it's uh, it's like an ancient charm or something we got from one of the first villagers? Isn't oh, that the lore? billiard. Deck. Wait, oh, why do we have ten thousand gold? Uh, we just, we've just been winning slots, I guess. Ah, uh. I want to rotate. I want to see the sides. No. Okay, I'm gonna be mad if the, if the, the black sides. one isn't an eight ball. Right, God, well, that's not it's right. Nine. No, it's not right. The eight one is actually the white one because this game's does things half-assed. Billiard tank. Oh, we, that's what we just got. Yeah. Should've so it wouldn't be worth first. it. First. No. Yeah. Oh well. Steam snails. Remember when you got, like, shitty escargot from Walmart? I never got it. I just saw that they had it. No, oh, I thought you got it. You were, like, very curious to try it, see what it was like. No, I just, I just thought it was funny that they had it. And presumably some form of, like, shitty caviar as well. Probably in a can or something. Pro tip, don't ever get fancy food from Walmart. Carcaton Ascent. What are we ascending to heaven? I don't know if that's derived from carcass. I guess because carcass. Uh. Looking forward to dinner. What about saving your friends, Elrog? Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, we go I'm again on my, on own, my again. own. I have to fight the Dark Lord by myself. I can't do that. The fuck! I did. I just noticed this. There's something in my recommendation was Hank Hill and Yu Hakusho Collection, Season 1. Okay. The collection. Huh? Collection. Like a crossover? Uh. And then apparently he also has a side story called Bobby in the My Hero Academia-verse. Okay. Does he have a quirk? 
<laughs> uh, his quirk is that he can kick people in the crotch oh. really hard. Okay. He has massive leg, leg strength from a very specific angle only. <laughs> there goes some fish. A capacitated cell. I like that cell was like really surprised by uh, by that. Was I forget? Was that an official one or was that a fan? No, that was the that was an official one. <laughs> you know what was great about that is that is that Bobby was up front, got about to kick him in the crotch, but Hank Hill had boxing gloves in the back. He's like, "Okay, son, I'll back you up in case things go wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I don't, I don't remember why I looked this up recently. Super Saiyan 2 is referred to at some point in the series as, like, uh, Super Saiyan Stage 5. What? It's super weird, the entire progression of Super Saiyan quote-unquote levels in the Cell arc. Stage 5? According to who? Was it was that a bad translation or something? I, no, I, I guess it was the original Japanese of in some variety. Or like the manga. Stage five? No, that has to be a bad translation. Cause like the stage two was the forced increase that Vegeta used. Stage three was the force that Trunks used, the like Broly one. I think stage four was supposed to be the the mastered Super Saiyan one, like they can do it in their in their casual. In that case, it's not stages; it's variants. So and basically, it's not full new. That makes no sense. So that's not that doesn't. It's just that they perfected form one. It's it's something then... that doesn't seem like it would need names. No. Does that make Super Saiyan three actually Super Saiyan stage ten or some shit? We 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 found it. Kaioken was actually, uh... Hey, Steve Harvey. Who has a never-ending thirst for fun and games? <laughs> does that make Super... Does that make Kaioken uh, Super Saiyan negative 2? Yes, clearly. We never found out what the fuck Super Saiyan Rosé was. It was Super Saiyan, except performed by a god. Oh. Okay, Isabel, Donkey Kong, Toon Link, and Meta Knight. Yes. Isabel. You did great. Oh, that's it. That's the whole game. That was easy. It's giving us an underhanded pitch because we have no party members. <laughs> what the Bowser? Oh hello. Oh that's the that's Waluigi, the amiibo guy. Nintendo fan. Waluigi as Bowser. That would be a that'd twist. Be, that'd be a twist, yeah. He pulls yeah. off the Bowser costume and the real villain is Waluigi. This entire time. I got uh I got enough moons in Odyssey that we'll be able to do that whenever we choose to as well cool final part of it and there's a waluigi costume and uh the oh there is the description is something like uh this costume makes you want to lurk in the shadows waiting for a chance at the spotlight <laughs> oh man that could be a game is uh luigi versus waluigi spycraft yeah. wars and be like spy versus spy except good is there... are there any games that are about cheating besides screen cheat that you can think of? Hmm... No. Um... They can do it, that's an angle. Close, Nintendo likes close, their angles. Closest I can think of is, uh... Is, um... Like, Flux, a card game where the rules change depending on what cards you play. Yeah. But that's not really considered cheating. You're just you're just playing Calvin Ball at that point. Yeah. I'm surprised you got that reference. You're popping. Oh, am I? Yeah. 
Like I said, I'm surprised you got that reference. I, mean, I kind of deduced what it was from the description. Calvin Ball. Wow, these guys kind of suck to fight. Like, oh no, I'm nerfed because I can't fire a party member at them. It's fine, just, just shoot your tank. If only easy. You had healing. Easy. Yeah, it's easy. What? Why did you think it wasn't easy? Also, you got sprinkles, right? Well, I almost died. That's true. Yeah. You made it to the end. Hello, Darian. Uh, all our all our dudes got taken again. As so now we're on our always... way to the Dark Lord Ganondorf's castle to save them. Man, all this food, you you gotta eat it. Oh, I don't <laughs> like dog biscuits. It's... The fact that you're resorting to eat dog food means you should probably seek psychiatric help. But you had ham. It was right there. It's <laughs> goblin ham. I hate goblins. Hate them. Hate goblins. <laughs> Macho tank, fancy. Eh. That's probably like the first abridged series I've seen that's like, this is definitively better than its source material. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, EXP will work, I guess. You almost got MP and candy. You poor fool. Oh man, you're almost level 12. That's like in game stats. I wonder what What's the, the cap? cap is. I don't know. Mm. Is, uh, you hear the game okay, Darian? What was that? A lot. A lot. Macho tank. Oh. It's I thought it was Jack. like. <laughs> you truly are the buzz swole of this game. Buzz swole. What if we took a bug, but made it Johnny Bravo? <laughs> That's his Why tower? Is what a shitty tower. It's like a <laughs> it's like a witch's hut. But you just you just you just went into a mountain and carved out the interior and it's like here, this is my fucking tower, assholes. Oh hello. Oh no, so our this party is one of each of our three parties. No. Hiroshi, my poor flower, Zelos, I like you better this way, Lena. Oh, Lena, poor Lena. It's you. <laughs> He's crying. Glad we managed to meet here. These three here are your friends, right? Yes. Am I? I'm like I'm like all buff and mostly naked around the tank. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> nah, it's a skin suit. It's fine. They're wandering around like well, faceless chickens. So I brought them back here to safety. Their faces can't have gone that far. What do you say, you're up for, up for a rescue mission? Excellent. Allow me to join you. Gonna go on a, gonna, gonna quest with Chris Lee. Yes, Christopher Lee, the best. Sorry, Lena. You're cool too. But he's Christopher fucking Lee. Oh man, he's gonna he's gonna cast spells by just shredding on a guitar and singing. Man, yeah, imagine people legend, would take. Except it's about uh, Christopher Lee and op operatic oh. metal. Yeah, it's just a wizard going around bellowing out solos to slay enemies. <laughs> man, bards would be taken more seriously if they were all Christopher Lee. Yeah, just. I of course, I won't use my full power. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Make sure that you keep learning! <laughs> You're going to have to get even stronger. I'll keep an eye on you. Remember, uh, when Genkai was, like, giving Yusuke her power, and his response to taking the power was to just thrash around in constant agony? Yeah, for, like, was it two a, a full day or something? It was like a lot of episodes. 
Can I fire you from my cannon, Christopher Lee? He won't let that happen. We never got... I don't think we ever got a, uh... It could have been cool if Rezo got to be, like, a, a party member for one brief moment of Slayers or something. <laughs> it never... The stars never aligned that way. Eisen becoming at a party member. Was like, uh, hey, we'll tolerate the presence of this spirit in a jar for a little while. <laughs> Feels like there's something buried here. Yeah, fuck it. Let's dig it up. Party it members. Is... No, buried treasure. Aw. That's right, it is Saruman. So who is who is Saruman in the context of Lord of the Rings? I falsely Sar assumed that it was related to Sauron because of the names, like Gan and Ganondorf. So Saruman is Gandalf's friend, uh, who who decided he was going to use some cursed artifact to try to get a leg up on uh, Ganon, on uh, Gandalf, not Ganondorf. Uh, well, Sar uh, Sauron, basically Ganondorf, Gan Evil Eye, and uh, and he ended up getting corrupted by it and ended up inadvertently starting to work for Sauron. He burned down the forest near him to like uh, to like dig up some orcs that were trapped underground and were still alive. And uh, the, the process of burning down the forest to get access to him pissed off the Ents, so the Ents decided to declare war on him, and he, he just they just tore his uh, construction equipment down and stuff. And by the end of it, I think uh, I think uh, Sar uh, Saruman got executed or something. Okay, so it's just a war between Saruman and a bunch of Ents. Yeah, proxy war. I I think it was great because because. Uh, the ants were like reluctant to get involved, and then uh, so, and then a couple of halflings were like, "Hey, Ukiri, take a look at this." And he led them to the fucking like barren area, and he's like, "These trees were my friends," <laughs> and he just calls them over. He's like, "Let's kick their ass. let's kick his ass." <laughs> it was great. Rusty tank. That doesn't sound good. No, you don't understand. It's a tank built by Rusty oh. Venture. That makes it more yeah, powerful than the you Macho tank. Microphone. I'm very close. I'm very close. You're Why? Every time you do a P sound. P. P. Which, which isn't usually the case, so it makes me think it's like a bad angle or something. Hmm. All right. You mentioned your headset broke, so you have it like sitting next to you now. Yeah, it doesn't. It, how about now? Uh, I, I, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. You sound fine. Power. P -p -p Power book. I, I guess we just go over to see Dio. There's a dude here. <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. Hello, Mango. Uh, oh, this is, uh, these are bosses. Maybe yeah, we shouldn't have gone here first. We can't run. Let's just fight him then. I feel like tank is a bad class to be uh, alone as. You you chose it. Uh, I guess I should laser. Fire the laser. Oh, that that did shit. This doesn't look good. No. And even Christopher Lee just kind of chilling at the very... Oh, God. This is so not not cool. Game. I think it wanted us to go the other routes first. Oh, it's fine. Uh, just, just die, then. And then... And then we'll see what happens. Honestly, I think Wild Shot would have been a better choice. But that's just me. Well, it's the same, but weaker. It's multiple times. You're gonna heal, but you're not gonna act. Yeah, that's true. Hey, he got one. Oh, hey. If I didn't go I overboard. Hope... No, you, you, you were just fine. So yeah, try wild shot, and you'll see. 
You'll see well, what I now mean. it's definitely not worth it because there's only one enemy. Okay, I guess leave it up to Christopher Lee then. I'm just gonna sit here eating my bananas. Saruman, get him! <laughs> this does look like a burned down forest too. Yeah. I am out of bananas. All or nothing. Attack. Nope. Rip. You're ah, dead. almost did it, too. Mortis. I wonder if we lose anything from that. Other than the bananas we ate. Doesn't seem like you did. Need some ham hey. to feel better. <laughs> Eat some ham makes you feel better. If you are still a thief, can you? You can't switch classes right now, can you? Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Well. I, I, we weren't able to run away. I thought that as soon as we just, uh, as we started the battle. Because it's like, oh shit, two minotaurs. You this think was, if they uh, were intending for you to go elsewhere, they would let you run away. <laughs> Why are, are you, you known know? as the Great Sage? It's a good question. I'm just a magician who's traveled the world. I've taught lots of people during my travels. <laughs> About epic metal. After a while, people began, people began calling me by other names. Wise one, great sage, that kind of thing. It's a bit embarrassing, to be totally honest. <laughs> this, this is the most great, playful Christopher Lee's ever been. Oh, stop. I remember when Christopher Lee was a dentist in the middle of the of Antarctica. Yeah. For some <laughs> bizarre reason. Do you have an appointment? <laughs> really? I wonder what kinds of things Chris Lee likes. Metal? Acting? Shakespeare? Yeah. I guess? Uh, he, he was also literally a secret agent. Oh, okay. Like, in, in the military? He was in MI5. Little, little known fact. Yeah, he was also... I think he was also Dracula. Yes, he so was. So he's also a vampire. Vampire secret agent wizard. He was like the knight. metal. Dracula was probably his most famous role. Yeah. It was like a 1960s or 70s version. Because the original. I believe so. The Hollywood Dracula. What were the two original OG horror actors? It was Bela Lugosi and. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff. That was the first one. Yeah. I think somebody was like. Ranting about Carlos, like that, 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 that cocksucker can rot in hell for all I care. Karloff does not deserve to smell my shit. Oh, okay. I don't know, it was from a movie or something. I think it was from that Ed Wood uh, mockumentary. Ed Wood? Yeah, remember Ed Wood? No, who's Ed Wood? Plan Nine from Outer Space. That's a he was movie? He, he was the original uh, bad movie auteur. Oh, his movies were known to be kind of infamous. Though, in in our uh, in our uh, Neil Breen uh, in our post uh, Tommy Wiseau Neil Breen uh, landscape, they're actually kind of quaint. Yeah. <laughs> also, Manos the Hands of Fate. There's something Man. here. It's a kitten. Oh, please, kitten. Can we... What? Here's just a happy little cutscene with a kitten. You a kitten? Oh, hello. Oh, good. I was hoping that a face would be on each of these three paths. 
Magma Zello Slime. <laughs> that face. Tanks are uh, not the fastest class, it would seem. Yeah, I mean, have you seen a tank in real life move quickly? Wild Shot is 6 MP. It dealt 80 damage or so. Yeah, it told you it was it was good. What was the laser? No... It was like 75? It was weaker than that. You can check to see, but I think it was like in the 30s or 40s. I guess it gets stronger if there are uh, fewer enemies. Yeah, and also sometimes you'll hit your 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 party members. So this is actually way better because oh, it dealt only dealt two hits that time. So there's uh, some randomness. A degree of randomness, but higher highs. Man, they're average so, like sixty. I guess. So p apparently, a popular sh uh, Sonic ship is uh, Tails X Rouge. Oh, okay. This is news to me. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why? Why is? Uh, why is? Uh, why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I was gonna say something, but I forget. I forget what other weird ships there were. Hey, Tails, what are you doing on that bench? Make... What? <laughs> Wait, what? Where are you... Where are you... Where are you going with this? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you doing on that bench, Tails? Nothing. Make it something for jelly. Rouge. Oh, I thought I saw uh-oh for some reason. A rusty tank. Oh, it is an improvement. Okay. Yeah, I, to I told you it was an improvement. Well, it's, no, yeah, it's I know rusty there's, a, tank. there's a type of every outfit in the game that is, like, shitty, and you don't want it. Hey, Kate, the Rushki, the Rushkies are out cold. Let's go for a joy ride in the tank. <laughs> Skaters are truly the ultimate life forms. Fuck Eric Sparrow. Eric Sparrow is a piece of shit. Hello, jellyfish. Winner gets the tape. Punch him. That's another thing we gotta do eventually. I gotta try to get uh, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 working on the... We got the PC version. Yeah, which means I can parsec it. That'll be a game we can play together. Which is which is good, because cause that game is, uh, is pretty fun. Depending on how much precision is required, I guess. Yay, I'm back. I'm cured. I'm cured. I regret everything. My face, it's back. You saved me, just like I knew you would. Let's get back out there. That's the first face back. So that's uh that's part of the second group, right? That was the th yeah. Hiroshi was our third, and Lena was our first. Our first group was like uh, Lena and Kenpachi and Jack, right? Yeah. I can't wait to start cooking again. I want to know what makes Chris Lee tick. Oh, okay. I'm an octopus. I just got this rusty tank, too. That's yeah, better. Can be a black You're an octo tank. Octotank Traveler. Octotank Traveler. Uh, hey, you can room, room with me, I guess. You don't have any yes. reason to kill me at present, right? Oh god, both of you, both of you two are, have moves that, like, piss off the other. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna get a log like water and oil. So, uh... He, he has an I ice was... cream spear. <laughs> yeah, ice cream. That's what it is. I remember. So, uh, so I, I, I found this, uh, this manga recently. Oh, here we go. And, no, it's a legit manga. It's not, it's not hentai. It's, oh, okay. it's like a, it's like one thing that was published. And good thing it isn't because it's disturbing. Yeah. Um, so the story is like about this, uh, this boy and, and his, and his mom and his dad. And one day they're out hiking, right? And throughout the story, people are like, hey, is your mom a bit overprotective of you? And he's like, nah, don't worry about it. He's, he's, she's all right. She's fine. And then his cousin is, they're like walking by a cliff. And then his cousin just pretends to like push him off. And then the mother gets freaked out. He's like, no. And then clutches onto him, like while looking all panicked. And then everybody's laughing. He's like, ah, you're so overprotective. So then him and his cousin go out to take a leak, right? And uh, and then they find a cliff even higher than the last one, and then he's like at the edge of the cliff, going, going, yeah, look, look at how tall this cliff is. Come over here. He's like, no, nah, you're gonna push me off again. He's like, no, nah, come on, man, I'm not going to. Then the mother shows up. He's like, hey, what are you doing out there? Stop it. And he's like, and he's like, no, nah, oh, you guys are too scared. You're overprotected. Yeah. Is this going somewhere? Hello? I think we lost Jack. Oh no, we lost the stream. Well, YouTube viewers hang on for a minute or so. I'm gonna take a quick drink, see if we reconnect. I saw just uh, keep going till we reconnect. Yeah, my uh, my internet dropped is what happened, which is unfortunately the case with Comcast sometimes. in the chest. Oh, that's 500, that's okay. What's going on? What are you two talking about? You should tell me who you like. Good talk. It's just these weird little anime moments. Not particularly, particularly original ones, usually. Can you hear me, Jack? So any, so anyway, after ripping op uh, uh, after ripping apart the love letter, she kisses him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understood all of that. <laughs> no, but before that, uh, like the kid was stumbling on the cliff, right? And then, uh, and then, he, and then she runs forward and grabs him to stop him from uh, from falling. And then, he's like, thanks, Auntie. I I I thought I was good. And then she looked. He looks right. We don't see her expression on her face, but we see the kid's look on his face. And he's like looking kind of terrified. He goes, Auntie. And then she pushes him off the cliff. The kid who was joking. Yeah, and then meanwhile the son's just looking going, what the fuck is happening? And then she turns to him, and she just has this, like, blissful smile on her face. Not like, not like, uh, like, scary or anything. Not like it's, uh, it's like a creepy, like, wide grin or anything. She just has this gentle smile. 
just just looking like hi son okay is that as yeah. far as you got no i got i got further than that but that's like four chapters in you talk about lane being slow this manga is like really fucking slow i mean we've seen slower than lane we saw technolize one episode technolize the, the the slowest uh anime is lane is still number three though it's not moving fast it does not yeah. strike me as a series that's going to have a like conclusive narrative arc ending by the end of it. Mm. Eh. Hey, re remember when that dude was doing nano machines as a drug, and yeah. he ends up shooting up a club because he's like, I guess, overdosing on it. Yeah. And then Lane walks up to him and goes, "We are all connected," and then he kills himself. Man, I, lo I love me some weird fucking shit. Wonderful. And Lane's... I'll find Kuroshi's face. What monster will it be attached to? I hope it's a flower. Looking forward to finding if... out. If it's if it's a giant it, like boss uh, thing with an ass, then that would be disappointing. Oh, that'd be a cool. Uh, that'd be a cool feature if they like had a specific boss for each class of character. So if you lost a flower party member, they would be oh. on, like, a big plant boss. Yeah. It's a pain cloud, Kuroshi. Pain cloud? A cloud of pain. You have a bad day, Kuroshi? By the way, what happened to your stream? Did it just drop? My internet just dropped, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Thanks, Comcast. Hey, one of the perks of living in this city... Your internet's more stable. Yeah. Zelos! Get him! Get him! Why would you do that? Oh, let's watch. He'll do something similar to you and you'll be it. like, Why would you do that? I'll be like, Go, oh, you. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Are you ready for the surprise? Zelos had the best, just totally neutral character dynamic in yeah. Slayers. Yeah, it's Zelos. Sometimes he helps us. Sometimes he tries to kill us. <laughs> it's great. It was just like, it's just one thing that happens. Whatever happens, happens. You know? Are you doing that again? Oh, I guess it did a lot of damage. So fuck it. Breaking friendships in the name of power. Yeah, that's 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 villain talk, bro. I bet I bet Zelos would throw Lena at someone if it would win him an important fight. I bet you know. I bet Lena would do the same thing. Yeah. Let's get back to Haven Hollow. Is that what it's called? Yes, I named it. Don't question me. I I found Finders Keepers. Long ago, I burned down this very forest. It's not <laughs> something I'm proud of. <laughs> no, it's like it was an evil dark forest, so we burned it down to make an uh, like a like a as evil like area. And he's like, it's still nicer than it was. That I was fucking... attacked by evil ants. Don't question my version of the story, it's the only correct version. <laughs> I think one of my favorite uh, Christopher Lee roles was when he was just a random scientist transporting, like, a frozen, like, corpse. Like, that was supposed to be the missing link, right? And, uh, and, and like as what? he was... In what movie? Mid, Mid Horror Express. That was the one with the, with the monk... Who was looking at the box with the with the with the frozen uh, missing link, like Proto Man remains? And he's like, "This thing you have, it is unholy." Watch and he this. He tried to like prove it with like. Uh, a... He tried to draw a cross on the box and it didn't work. And and Christopher Lee's, Christopher Lee is just like rubbish, a conjurer's trick. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a Chris, Christopher Lee line. Yeah. And then and then Peter Cushing, who was also Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars, dropped in. He's like, yeah, I was looking at this chalk and 
it's real chalk. How do you explain that? He's like, <clears throat> it's just it's just mysticism, yoga. <laughs> oh, okay. Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to learn a yoga that allows me to fake draw chalk. An easier explanation would be he just he just traced along the box rather than pressing down on it. Yeah. It's great because because uh, the creature insists that it's uh, that it's uh, like a space alien, and uh, and the monk says that it's Satan. <laughs> Despite the fact the creatures like says it's a space alien, <laughs> actually, That's exactly I'm... what Satan would say. <laughs> I wonder if we did beat the Minotaur with just the two party members, if we would just be able to move on and not save Lena. I not that I would consider doing a thing. It was hypothetically. <laughs> Poor Lena. I don't know. Ask us to be able to is let there... us do that. I wonder if there are Metopia speedruns. This it's, game it's seems a very like... long. Seemingly very random game. Because the, right. the way well, the game works, you would almost have to use the the auto battle because that's the fastest way to do it for the most part, right? Yeah. I wonder what the op what an optimum. Uh... Why is the Dark Lord <laughs> stealing faces? Good question. This was this is was... <laughs> put simply, it's to control the monsters. What do you mean? I thought Ganondorf could control monsters normally. No, no, they just kind of go around doing their own things. Raiding villages, being dicks. Those monsters are just weak creatures. They're incomplete. To make up for that, the Dark Lord gives them. I don't know, I, th I think that Twerky was pretty fucking complete. <laughs> Juicy, some might say. I wouldn't. You gotta cook it. Cow and chicken would love properly. that turkey. <laughs> cow and, <laughs> cow and chicken's butt. one of those. Car cow and chicken's one of those like uh, cartoons where you, the more you think about it, the more you're like, how the fuck did they get away with that? With yeah. the shit they got away with. I thought the chest was the other way. You made a mistake. Yeah, it's a good thing we got Kuroshi back. We need to do our flower taxes. Oh. Uh, also, you got Oh no, I want to. I want to move people. I want to move Zelos. They haven't met. <laughs> Can a flower eat a ham? Yes. Meat's good fertilizer, bro. All right, well, I'm going to look it up. Look what up? On speedrun.com. See if we can get uh, Zelos slightly more appropriate skull spear. As opposed to the shit on a stick. <laughs> Never forget, Shit Mountain mm -hmm. is the place where Jillis got Lena Inverse. Was, was, it, was it called Shit Mountain? Hey, no, not I, literally. I forget. It was, it was a mountain shaped like a pile of, of poop, though. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Is your back bothering you? Uh, that was my chest, actually. I was just... I'm kind of precarious. God damn. Why does Zelos look so sexy? I woke up early today to, uh, to go to physical therapy for my lower back. Yeah? So I ended up taking a nap. So you have... So you usually have appointments on Tuesdays and Thursdays, right? Uh, yeah. Be a nice, pretty pink scribble flower. <laughs> the fakest fucking flower. A beautiful Sakura petal. It's Yoshi flower. Silver shell. Oh, I can slay vampires with this. <laughs> Silver shell. Alright. Uh, what am I looking up? Metopia? Uh, speed runs. Yeah. All right. What's the world record? Uh. Wow, we didn't get much for the imp. 
All right, you know what the any percent uh record is? I'm going to guess 10 hours. No, that's second place. Actually, so it's uh, just a few seconds shy of 9 hours. Oh. And that's just the any percent. Game's Dark Lord me Parade. So yeah, this Oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't be looking up uh, speedrun stuff yet. We haven't finished the game. I mean, we're already, like, way over it, so... We have lots of people for you to memorize. You only have one chance! Oh, it's this again. I wonder if it's a different minigame for each area. Toriel, Homer, Will Smith, Will Smith, Guzma, Toon Link, and Lois. Homer and Lois. Six. Homer and Lois. Prickly couple. <laughs> you know what? I think they'd be better uh, for each other than fucking... Lois and Peter. Peter and Lois. Because you know what? At least Homer means well most of the time. Would Homer... He's, he's... If, if they tried to, like, hang out, would Homer get sick of being around Peter? What? They got sick of being... No, if they, like, went to a bar together, would they get sick of each other? Peter and Homer. I think Homer would find Peter to be a bit mean. Yeah. Peter would be would be like a dick, and Homer would be like, oh, why do you have to do something like that? I mean, if you really wanted to find out how they would interact with each other, all we need to do is watch the crossover episode. Oh, that was a thing. Yeah. Burn and Lena the... Gollum. You know what? That was probably a thing at some point in Slayers. Actually, yes, literally, there was. I remember one of the OVAs. There was a, a Lena Gollum and a Naga Gollum. Oh, God. N neither Karoshi nor Zelos like you. That's not good. No, that's MP. I don't need that. So, uh, they, those two can't take a hit at all. Especially Karoshi. Yeah. What are their levels? 11 and 10. Okay, so they're not that too far behind. I will assist you. What skill can I use? Fucking well. Kuroshi, you don't hate me, right? He does hate you. They oh. both don't like you. They both are... Well, if he already doesn't like me. I like how they don't have a choice in the matter. Doesn't seem to hurt them, though. Oh, hey, they like each other. Oh, Lena, I have a secret to tell you. <laughs> but you never tell your secret, Zelos. I forget who Zelos was voiced by in the last couple seasons <laughs> in the Funimation cast. I remember Rezo became Liam O'Brien. I must say that one of my favorite... Like, uh, my favorite Zealous, uh, like, interaction was when Amelia just told him to give up his evil ways and become a human. It doesn't and quite just... work. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> what if you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Or the, uh, the, the Sacred Jewel. That's, that's what it's for. You can the purify it jewel... that way. Is that, is that how they ended up purifying it? They're just, like, disappear from this world, sac Sacred Jewel? Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess so, yeah. I watched the, uh, you remember they did that Rumic World thing where they had an Ursae OVA, like, in 2010 or something? Yeah. And they did one of those for Ranma as well, so they, there's one of those in the new animation style. Do you say Runic World? Rumic, at, like, Rumiko Takahashi. Oh, it was, just, it was just weird to see it in the modern style. And it had little crossover things like the Ursa one did. There was a reference to that title in that one Ursa It's Ura fan fiction where uh, Ataru and Lum were went into like an MMO and uh, and they met the Slayers cast in it as oh, like okay. other player characters. It's always got to be just video games now. 
No one, no one wants to do just a straight fantasy setting. Just Slayers and Goblin Slayer. I mean, we had a random throwaway episode of Urusi Atsura where they went to the past because they they hit each other really hard. Yeah, I mean, that just, I don't know what that has to do with what I just said, just, but that was dumb. Well, because yes. you can just you can just go back to the past in Urusi Atsura by some kind of bullshit because the suspension of disbelief is like or the uh, fantasy threshold is like really high. I'm just tired of all the modern fantasy series being inside video games. Mm -hmm. uh, who wants the golem steak? Kuroshi, you're getting more meat. Well, no, he's a flower. He's Zelos, you, you do have the golem meat. You're eating you, uh, Lena, kind of. You want, you want, uh, you, you don't like e Ice Isake series? You, you think? Well, there, there are those that not particularly, but even then, there are ones that weren't necessarily inside video games, like Inuyasha. Yeah. Uh, Konosuba, that was that was one that was explicitly not inside a video game, I believe. What was Konosuba? Uh, that's the shorthand for it, but uh, but it was like this Japanese teen ends up getting getting like like dying of a heart attack. So a goddess like says, "Hey, you want to be my representative in this fantasy world?" And he's like, "Okay." I'll do it. Just this fantasy world, huh? This world of mine. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. I haven't watched it. I'm that just trying to... That sounds very confusing. That's the, where the meme of, uh, of I believe in gender equality comes from. Oh, is that okay. show? I, I'm not familiar. It's the one where, uh, where he's like, he's like, I don't, I believe in true gender equality. I'm gonna fight all, both sexes or something like that. Okay. All right, we gotta rescue the other six. We got a party of three, of the mishmash of our previous parties, and you know what? It's probably better balanced than our previous parties. I remember yeah, our first it. team had like uh, two or three healers on it. Lena, oh no, you're gonna piss off Lena so hard. It's like so, Zelrog. When, since when did you become such an asshole? I've always been an asshole. It's just now I'm able to express it. Lena's like trying to fire. Try, Lena's trying to like get you back on the straight and narrow. It's like, give up your evil ways. <laughs> give up your evil ways and become a human Zelrog. Also, I don't think it quite... I don't think it was as quite as explicit in the dubbed version of Slayers, but Gowry seems to have, like, a, a running gag of breaking the fourth wall. Because oh. we caught on that a couple times. When that's, he, that's he, like, where he... pointed out the guy's about to break into the bar, for example. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> what, what, what about those guys about to break into the bar? Wait, What? what? <laughs> Man, if he did that a lot, a lot more, then that would explain where his intel like his intelligence isn't in like anything like regular. It's just that he has the ability to see the fourth ball, so so his intelligence is just very different. It basically was. It was supposed to be a fourth wall joke, though. Yeah, I like that. I I, I, I like that. Or like the the, the idea the, that he's a. Uh... That he can see the future. Yeah. He's like a time traveler. Just because he's psychic doesn't mean he's smart. I can see the future. Now you too can see the future. <laughs> he was a good lovable idiot character, though. Yeah, he was, More he was so not than annoying. Goku gets kind of annoying at times. Anymore. Which uh, which version of Goku is more annoying? The the I care about nothing else but fighting idiot Goku or uh, or or fake Superman Goku? I don't think the fake Superman was ever really that egregious. Like it's no it's noticeable when you point it out, but it wasn't distracting. Like the idiot Goku ignores all his family. Everyone kind of hates him. Is yeah, I I. I, I... I, in, in some ways, I, I, I like the concept of Goku being Japanese Superman, but in other ways, I think it's more unique for him to be just a dude who just is really obsessed with fighting. I mean, that's fine if he had, like, any semblance of loyalty 
responsibility. Yeah. No, he's got nut. You know what? The best version of Goku would be like a combination between Japanese Superman and Saiyan Warrior Goku. Yeah. Like he's like he'd be fine if he just liked liked fighting and also cared about his family. Yeah, that would be that would be a great though. character he just dynamic. Doesn't come off that way ever. It would be it would have been a better character dynamic if if like Goku like really enjoyed being around his family and stuff. But he was also like a like a like a heroic, and he loved fighting despite that. That's why that's why Dad Goku from the Big Green Dub, I liked the the voice they chose for him because it's like it's like the voice would be a fusion of both those character archetypes. Perhaps it was the suspense of nearing the castle that did it. But now you and your team can change jobs at will. And what's Wait, more, all, all jobs you... sealed by Ganondorf have now been released. You can go back to the jobs you had in Greenhorn and next door. Fortuitous occasion, no? Are you gonna become a are you gonna go back to being a priest again? Uh well let let's balance you need our a healer. Team. Cause uh levels are by class, I believe. Oh, so we'll really? have to see what uh what all the levels are at. I wanna be I friends wanna... with Kuroshi again. Not Zelos, I don't mind being enemies with him. <laughs> Zelos is Zelos. Goku is Goku. All right, Lena, I'm gonna put you in a room with Zelos. Don't kill each other. Hey, hey, Lena. Oh God. Kuroshi. This has never failed so far. I'm sorry for being so mean. I'll only fire Zelos out of my cannon now. He deserves it. <laughs> Lovingly stroking Kuroshi's chin. <laughs> he's he's your kid. It's fucking. Oh, we never. Do we watch uh, JoJo this week? I I believe so. I checked I recently and there wasn't one. Uh, let's see. Macho costume, veiny imp, stained glass leaf. Oh. What's at the arcade? Macho costume. Eh. God damn it, Zelos! This is why you get fired out of cannons! Amazing contrast between the leaf and the costume. <laughs> Who likes cake? You like cake, Kuroshi? I like cake. But I or thought it wasn't good for point. Oh, devil's food cake. Ooh, naughty. Hobgob donuts. Zelrog loves donuts. What about you, Lena? Eh, it's fine. Of course, Zelos likes the devil's food the most. <laughs> it's my favorite food. What an odd choice for them to change demons to monsters in the dub. I guess it was like religious concerns? Yeah. You know, it's dumb. Despite they the fact- just had to stick with it the entire series. I guess it's kind of it's there's not really a direct translation for uh, Mazaku. Yeah, it's just a species of demon, it's I guess. A powerful class of demon. Let's see. Party. Oh, I'm best friends with Lena. All right. Time to make a fresh start with a new job. Oh. You'll never oh, okay. lose the experience earned for past jobs. See which ones oh. you like best. So, I was previously... You were previously a cleric. cleric. Oh, 10. I like that outfit. Yeah, do it. A thief. Level 11 thief. Oh, no! I didn't want to do that! Okay, good. 
No, I'm the chef. I'm not teaching you my fucking. So I was the I was the cleric, the thief, and the the tank. Well, the tank breaks friendships, obviously. The yeah, thief you want to be good with multi hits, but probably not the best for bosses. And cleric is good at healing, and you need healing. You, you think I should go cleric? I think you should go cleric, full circle. Because the flower heals, too, would have su two support classes. Yeah, you can change, you can have everybody be any class, though. And start over from level one? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna do thief for now. Okay. We'll do cleric later, maybe, when we're not using Kuroshi. And Lena's like, like, Zelrog, since when were you a thief? I fell on some rough times after you guys got kidnapped. Yeah, he was always a thief. I was surprised when you were turned into a tank. Princess Zelos. <laughs> this is Princess Zelos. Pop star Zelos. Now nah, you're fine the way you are, Zelos, I guess. <laughs> it's, I, I guess Imp is kind of a... It's like a debuff class. So we have yeah. physical attack, magic attack, debuffs, and support. Healing. It's fine, I guess. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> I wanna roll you up into my life. Pop star. Someone probably has gone through this game with, like, the uh, Always Sunny cast... <laughs> who would be the who would be the player character in that scenario? D uh, Charlie or Dennis? It hasn't got a face. It's harmless like this. Fly away, oh. little Griffin. Fly away. You're a really nice person, Christopher Lee. I think we went up last time. Well, this is I don't a know. Totally different no, place. we didn't. Oh, it's a dark griffin. You can tell this one's evil. It's got a face. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lena's like, what the fuck? That is Ow. so cool. Oh, can absorb oh, MP. MP. Okay, I thought that was HP. Team Lena. Hey! Shut up, we're Team <laughs> Lena! Okay, Lena. Okay, honey. Yes, dear. I just Where's found this? a picture of, uh, of like, a gender-bent uh, Scotsman from Samurai Jack. Okay. W wouldn't that just be, like, his wife? Oh, so no, his wife. His, his wife was retconned out of time. Get it right. She was. He had a. He had a. Without daughter. Aku, without Aku, I. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I know what you mean now. Never mind. Yeah, no, no, I, I know what you. And no, it doesn't look like. It looks like a. It looks like a schoolgirl, except with like a kilt. Actually, no, more like a. Like a maid outfit. No. Because you know you can't do gender-bent versions without making them extremely sexy. That's- that's the rule. A... Redundant. I was- I was gonna- actually, I was gonna ask if there was a Rule 63 Aku, but... Yes, that was an episode early on. That- it, obviously that exists. Yeah, not only that, but, uh... Aku tried to seduce Jack. It was one of the first you know. things he tried, too. He couldn't wait to do it! <laughs> you know... I- I- I kinda like this. <laughs> Let's just see how far this goes. Maybe- maybe he was, like, wanting to have Jack's child so he could create anti-Jack. Like, the genes of the two merge to create, like, the ultimate warrior that he would have, because it's established that Aku could, he you know... have children, of a sort. Yeah. A weird cult ritual. 
Hello, Luigi Firewolf. You better like this. Okay, yes, the flower liked the butterfly, honey. I have a bee in my hand. Okay. So, I'm just sorry. I'm just, quote, I'm just quoting negative land. Every time I see the flower, I can't help but think of that song uh, about the bee from Negative Land. Well, all the bee things you could quote. Why not the best bee thing? Oh man, I kind of want to do like a AMV of just that song, but with footage from a bee movie. Yeah. Be the most obscure song uh, paired up with the most memeable movie. I that think, did I get think... taken down in some countries, our B-movie watch. I know that. Which is disappointing, but it also had microphone problems, so... Yeah, so. that was... That was during... We gotta read. It'll give us an excuse to redo it someday with other people. Yeah. I'm most sad about losing the Mario movie. That was... That was a shame. We skipped Dio. Oh, you're approaching me? Nope! Bye! Uh, oh, that that's not how this usually goes. Uh, I I don't know how to how to react to this. Have you used any amiibos? We have used all of our amiibos, and I don't believe... I think we just got a Mario outfit. We have Marth and Ganondorf and the Miis, and none of those had anything. A lava lake? I'll go first. Oh no, I dropped my hanky! I remember when it was just orange juice. I thought that was the lava of this game, and they just weren't willing to commit. Who the no, fuck it was is just Eno orange juice, and now we have actual lava. Wait, who the fuck is Inokuma Yawara? I, I don't know. Ino is pig. Kuma is bear. Pig bear? Pig bear. Man bear pig. All right, what the fuck is this? Give me a second. I need to. I I, I it need. It's conclusive do some evidence, Jack. You are a fashionable judo girl. Wish my pop star could join your team. Our team. Oh, that's right. We had Nathan. Nathan's the pop yeah. pop star. Yeah. We gotta get we Nathan didn't... back. Eventually. Is pop star well, a good class? I, I think it had like uh, it was a it was mostly a buffs thing. Okay, so so I found this picture, right? Yeah. Oh uh, hey, say hey, they're making friends already. Uh, I should have sent Zelrog to to make up with him. Now that he's not a tank anymore. And it's uh, and it's Ranma Sautome, uh, Lum, and and. Uh, and Kyoko from uh, from Mizuni Koku. Yeah. And then and then uh, this other character called Inokuma Yawara from Yawara Fashionable Judo Girl. And one of these things is not like the other. It could one be is... a less successful Takahashi series, or it could no, be, I, look, I don't know what I, it is. I looked it up, <clears throat> and uh, the 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 latter. Was written by the last. Uh, the last one was written by a dude called Naoki Urasawa. Okay. So, I, I, does that bother anyone else as much as it does me? Is really imbalanced crossover images. Like they'll have four characters and two of them are from the same series. Like you gotta, if you're gonna do a crossover, you gotta represent everyone equally. Don't play favorites. Or, you know, have it mentioned in, like, the picture itself. Like, who the fuck are you? Well, even so, it's weird to have, like, a picture of Goku, Vegeta, and Naruto. <laughs> what you about like, that you like Chinese... like Goku, Naruto, Luffy. You gotta, you gotta spread the, 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 the love. Re remember when, uh... The, remember that one, uh... Figure set? It was three... DC characters, one one uh, Marvel character and Naruto. No, not it was the Naruto of That's Superhero right. Justice League. The Naruto. <laughs> or was this a different set? No, it was no, it was the same one. 
that we're on the same wavelength. I'm sorry, I forgot it was called. We talked about that on the on the Jack's channel during like a Minecraft thing. I think that's on the in the compendium. Oh, yeah, the, the Naruto. The Naruto. Oh no, rocks. Well, I guess we're split up. Again. What? Again? Oh, two of them got lost. Oh, it's... It's the last two. <laughs> this is where they finally make up for good. Maybe. Look, Zelos, I'm not a tank anymore. I physically cannot fire you out of a turret. We cool? Yeah, yeah that's what you want me to think. I know better. I'm smarter. <clears throat> what job are you? Uh, I have been... Let's see. Cleric, thief, and tank. And right now I'm going thief because it seemed like a good balance for the party. I might go back well, to before, cleric once we have uh, more party members available. It was a good balance before two of the party members got got spirited away. You see that, uh, that punk Ron Makane picture? Uh, is it on the Discord? Uh, I, I PM'd it to you. They must really be uh, in trouble with me not around. Oh wait, that's, that's who those people two were supposed to be? It's kind of hard to tell because of the art style, yeah. Yeah, I could I could not tell at all who those two were supposed to be. I thought you were just sending me a cute picture of like a lesbian couple. Is someone a chef? Jack is the chef. We we got to find him. He's probably yeah. going to be the last one we find. By the way, I should mention that I think one of my favorite uh, gender swap artworks are is a female Dio. Yeah. Just for whatever reason, if Dio was a female, I think it's I would me, fall into the position Dia. of a lot of his. Dia. Dia Brando. Or is it Dia Branda? Oh! Oh, hey, quarrel's over. All right, you want a whole section of the game without firing me from a tank. Oh my god, this is the third time I got called today. Is it another scam? No, it's not. Give me a second. All right, what do we got? Is someone a scientist? We do have a scientist. We've tried to spread out all of the available classes. Faux fur gear. What, what, I did miss what was on the roulette. What are there? There are 12 classes and 10 party members, so there must be two we're missing. We have a, we had a warrior. Who didn't, what didn't we do? We had a princess. We had a cat. Age three, four, five, six. Oh no, we did it because uh, Zelrog has three jobs, so we've covered we've covered everything. We haven't had both sexes of pop star. I don't know if that changes like the skills or anything, or if it's just the outfits. All right, I'm back. <laughs> that was uh, that was D. She wanted me to turn off the stove. Turn off a pot on the stove. Yeah. Yeah, so I, so I went and did that really quick. Then I got undressed because it's getting too hot. Sorry, is that TMI? Yeah. You know, every I think about I think about uh, Vinny streaming, and uh, and I wonder how many of his streams 
does he how many of his streams does he actively like like stream in like bare minimum of clothing without without telling anybody oh i don't know he doesn't use face cam he yeah, that's why he would use air conditioner because he's got like a really good microphone setup, though. He would not be able to what? He's able to use his air conditioner because he's got a very good microphone setup, though, with like a, yeah. a compressors and everything. Oh, uh, so he. Are you but, uh, stronger than the Dark Lord, Chris Lee? That's a tricky one. Maybe. Christopher Lee's gonna die, isn't he? Not a big fan of conflict. And anyway, defeating the Dark Lord is your mission, not mine. Why, why though? It's the peace of the world. Come on, save the world, Chris Lee. Do it for us. In my humble opinion. There's no time to think about black geometry. <laughs> what caused the quarrel? Oh, I was a tank. All, that's all that needs to be said. Oh man. Okay, so uh, Lord of the Rings, except instead of Gandalf, it's uh, Doctor Orpheus from Venture Brothers. It'd be a very uh, flashy trip. Probably more would go wrong. <laughs> Morpheus tends to, uh, for you know, for an all-powerful mystical wizard. He, he kind of gets to be a butt monkey a lot of the time. There's a lot of yeah. jokes at Orpheus's expense. Yeah, despite him being ar arguably more, or no, definitely more moral than uh, Rusty. Oh, yeah. He was shocked. His introductory episode, he was shocked at the lengths Rusty would go to, like, for his inventions. Friend cannon strong causes too many problems. Eh. It's worth it. Too many problems? How about not enough problems? Needs more problems. I got 99 problems and a face is every single one. Oh, hello. What you talking about? There was a bug on your face last night. Oh, well, thank you for telling me. I got a good look at it. Watched it for three hours. On your face. Oh, did they forgive each other? Uh, yeah. Wow, that was... I, I must have missed that when I was... When I walked away. Uh, mummy jerky. Oh, everyone hates it. It's an easy-to-carry, chewy snack. Nobody likes mummy jerk. Like even like, the monster which, refuses to eat it. Like you really want to eat like an old dried out like corpse of an ancient pharaoh? Is that something you would really be interested in? Eh. That was a thing in Futurama. There was like a, a, a dried up mummy, and Fry ate it, thinking it was jerky. <laughs> Did he enjoy it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Maybe you should have put that on a pizza what with the anchovies. Looks like royalty. How dare you not know of the mighty monarch? <laughs> the mighty monarch. The beautiful monarch butterfly. Oh, that's right, I just have a monarch. I have a butterfly in my hand. I really need to memorize the lyrics to that song. Or it's a song. In case there is like yeah, to to, uh, to the B song from Negative Land. By Negative Land, rather. Their band. It's Negative Land. I wonder how the others are doing. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. I agree. The sensitive Soul Kuroshi plus Lena Inverse. Oh, do we play as them now? Yep, we oh, gotta that's... catch up. That's a team comp that's, that's gonna be awful. Good cop, bad cop. Well, we have an offensive character, and it... Wait, how did the mummy jerky get here? We just left it behind, because nobody wants to eat it. Now, Lena can enjoy... Have a enjoy? mummy. Enjoy? <laughs> what is this wouldn't have shit? Complained. He, 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 he was like, actually, this isn't too bad. 
Maybe a flower, one of the abilities of a flower is that you can eat anything. Yeah. I have a dandelion now. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> In terms of me's, what bug looks like royalty? It, 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 are there me bugs? What bug looks like royalty? Uh, probably the mantis. One of my favorite parts of Hollow Knight was uh, t was going into the mantis hive. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you fight like uh, the fight like a boss where which is just you fight one of the mantis lords and then you fight the other two mantis lords at the same time, and then if you beat them, uh, they bow to you, and all the mantises in the mantis hive diagro. Yeah. So it's like the Ger the Gerudo and they bow pass. At you. Yeah. Oh, can we control Lena now? Uh. Oh, he ate his flower. Oh no! Oh no, we can't. So this is can... this part's really up to chance. Yeah. And sprinkles. Oh, how are we able to use sprinkles despite not being there? It's okay. It's it's the the fifth character. It's us, the player. We are the spirit of the charm. <laughs> Beaten by a dandelion. Okay. Tuxedo mask acceptance instead of throwing roses, he throws dandelions. <laughs> well, roses are expensive. Don't yell yeah. at me. So, so it would be tuxedo mask. It would be a hippie then. Instead of... So instead of a dapper dressed uh, dude with like a hat and the mask, it's just... It's just a hippie. Yo, dude. It's just he's just throwing dandelions at the Something enemy. Something I need to get off my chest. Sometimes Lena wears her clothes inside out. I haven't told her yet. Wait, why is he talking to us? Just between you Hiroshi and me. Hiroshi can see the fourth wall. Oh God. Hey, you say things kind of like someone else I used to know. It's a Jersey thing. Oh wait, never mind. It's a gallery reference, never mind. <laughs> then why are these people going to break in, Lena? Lots of time on our hands today. We do? I thought you had to catch up to the the, the other other dudes. No. <laughs> he's gonna be a he's gonna be a pop idol, Kuroshi. Kuroshi the pop idol. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna start watching the nineteen ninety nine Hunter. OVAs, which A, were apparently never dubbed, and there are a lot more of them than I thought there were. There's oh, like, how many are there? There's like 30 episodes. And I think what? it's the whole Greed Island arc. Oh, man. Well, why aren't we watching that then? I didn't know that that was... We get, There's an opportunity to watch more Hunter Hunter, and you want to do that by yourself? I mean, we can if you want to. You, you're... Why are you... <laughs> I haven't started it yet. I'm just prob probably gonna watch Gravity Falls this weekend because you won't. Uh, you, okay, that I, that is fine. You can watch Gravity Falls. The ending specifically, we got to like the last four episodes. Ah, uh, the night wand. So that's for Lena. That sounds like a Slayer's item. It looks like kind of, kind of. Looks more like a My Little Pony item. Man, remember when Dia tried to kill you, and then, and then Zelda ended up getting arrested? Oh yeah. And then we were just confused as to what the fuck just happened. Still not immediately obvious. You guys want? Oh, he wants a leaf, an emerald leaf. Be a bit of the emerald charm. Real, real magic boost. You got that uh, that Celtic boost you got 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 going on. 
dead Celtic boost. Oh, I, we opened the path for them. Ah, eh, fuck it. Yeah. No, we gotta we gotta reunite the party. Never split the party. Wait, look. Hey, Lita. Well, that was pointless. Now go. There's a movie that was released, an animated movie that was released recently called MFKZ. MFKZ? Yeah. I have no idea what it's about, but all I... Ragged Gear. That sounds like the bad kind. Oh, you know who's who's in who's an a uh, voice actor in this movie? What? Who? The Rizza. Oh, okay. And Danny Trejo. This is this isn't a recent movie. This is a recent movie. Oh. Twenty eighteen. Who was the who was the NWA member that died? Or is it That's ODB. And he died a while ago. Or uh Wu Tang. Which one is Rizza in? Yeah, Wu Tang. Okay. So did, did a Wu-Tang member die? Yeah, old ODB. Oh. He was a Wu-Tang member. I don't know why. I thought I thought, I thought thought the RZA died. I knew he did the... He was involved with the Shampoo soundtrack, right? Uh... No. He was involved with other soundtrack. Wait, what? Afro Samurai? I believe that was the one. Cerberus, the god of the underworld. We missed big treasure. Oh, we, we three at once. That'll save time. Yeah. Is it like anything incredibly game changing? Cause I'm I'm trying to, kind of trying to move through the game briskly. Hyper sprinkles power. Sprinkle this to hype up your me and do more damage. Oh, we got oh, berserk buff. mode. You can really turn a battle around. Uh, well, that's only physical attack, so I'll I'll give it to Zelrog. He's the only physical attacker we have. Apple may have taken it too far. There are lots of people talking about Apple lately. Yeah. So, uh. Are you familiar with the YouTuber Call Me Carson? No. Well, uh, he was a dude who uh, who was very popular for doing like off the wall, like Discord channel. Uh... Wait, what? What just happened? What, of all party members, why did you enlarge the leaf? Why did you attack with the leaf? Wait, what? <laughs> she has an enlarged weapon <laughs> spell. Zelrog looks like he's he's on meth. And then he then he got tired. You you did give him meth. Holy shit. Uh oh. Oh good, he's awake, he's fine. He so he does like Discord stuff? Yeah, he does stuff where he like she, like uh, gets on chat with other people and then just uh and then just like reacts to stuff like like weird pictures of food. And, and like weird pictures of toilets and cursed videos and, and he said he was taking a break because apparently some k-pop fans uh, harassed him or something and he got like kind of like uh like depressed because of it yeah. and then he recently came back uh he did a video called the best commercials ever made where it's him and like several other people decided to make their own like like commercials and yeah. they're actually they're actually kind of so kind of like, funny. Is it like Djibouti dubs kind of things? Uh in a way. Uh but they don't dub over it, they just react to it and like spotlight some some weird stuff. They find stuff that was isn't commonly found, if that makes any sense. Wait, he used the life dude at fail? Because Lena's stubborn. If she's dead, she's dead. But yeah, the recent videos, they made their own commercials in four days. Yeah. For <laughs> products. <laughs> oh, 
Lightning bolt! Oh, that's right. I it doesn't matter if I try to, uh... I wonder if that's worth it instead of using skills. Yeah, that's Kimpachi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> that that's something that I uh, that's something that that that's like a, a new hyper Kenpachi. Like hyper like uh, Kenpachi on meth versus Super Saiyan Goku. There's that uh, there's that dude we're at in Baki who is just like pumped full of steroids. Some yeah, he's like he does all the drugs. And Yujiro seems strangely interested in him one way or the other. Yeah, just like eh, this should be interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, no! How, how close to death is it? Uh... Whirlwind Blades. I guess I can, uh... Do it! <laughs> Kill him. Interrupt and counter an enemy attack. I wonder if that works on, like, projectiles, like the fire he's breathing and such. I said keep me uh, safe at least, but you could do that, or you could just go all out and see if that'll kill him. That was not as strong as I'd hoped, but it did the job. Thanks. Sometimes, sometimes the only real option is just go for it. Piece of cake. Fuck you, Zelrog. Hey, baby, if you were better, you would have survived. Get good. Get on my level. Hell dog. We got Promestine, Kenpachi, and Judy. <laughs> For science! Prom oh. Why does Promestine have... Oh no, she always had red hair. Never mind. Judy never got a catchphrase. She just said, meh. Meh. I guess it's kind uh, of a giveaway that you'd have a lot of party members when we got to the hotel and there were so many rooms. Yeah. When you think about it. It's, it's cle clearly, it's, uh, it's a dead giveaway. So that's six people rescued. Like we've got enough firepower now. My work is done. Bye. <laughs> but I have to. But the threat to the world, the Dark Lord. Turns out that Christopher Lee, uh, he's like All Might. He can't use his power for long periods at a time, yeah. or his or or like his bones turn to jelly or something. I don't know. Okay, now, who who do we ship now? We've got him so many promise, options. Him and promise, you know, you remind me of someone. Judy has to make do with uh, no no one. <laughs> of all oh, the we jokes, can't feed think... everyone. We can't. I like how the the food drop for uh, for fucking uh, the the hellhound was a hot dog. <laughs> Get that's it! Brilliant. Wow, that's an that's an English pun because this is a Japanese game. I guess they decided to go with that. Yeah, which makes me want question if it was something else. And uh... I doubt they would replace the whole food item. Oh, come on. Yellow? Yes. Kenpachi, you're a knight now, proper. I dub thee Sir Kenpachi. Sir Pachi. See the black, black. knight? Or see the white black. knight? Green knight. Those were apparently a thing, the green knight. That I don't know what they Kenpachi, did. Kenpachi, though. Yeah. Let's go with the traditional. If you want. If you must. Alright, there's only we one uniform for the cat, the squad captains, but they all wear it in a different way, completely <laughs> defeating the purpose of a uniform. 
<laughs> I spear by apple. I just got you new armor. She wants to be a queen bee. <laughs> there is a bee in my hand. It's just <laughs> God damn it, Judy! This was the bee episode. You ruined it. You know what? At least, at least, whenever that happens, you don't lose on cash. Really, I don't yeah. think. Wait, iron. Now it's bronze. I thought iron was stronger than bronze. I would assume so as well, but apparently not. Not in this universe. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a look it up. That looks like a like a, a monster weapon. Oh, Lena! Lena's good at haggling. Go figure. Oh, the song is called "One B at a Time." <laughs> I want you to know, I have a bee in my hand. All right, well now that this is the case, here, let's swap. No longer will you tease me about my bee. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm gonna read the, or the, oh, the, the lyrics aren't on this one. Uh, one. So I swapped a cleric, and we're gonna have to decide who we're gonna take on our party now. Uh, Kinpachi, Lena, and Promistein. Uh, get rid of Zealous. Add Promistein. Promistein's a great all-over class. I, I like the scientist. Yeah. What's the plan? The plan is for you to stay put. I like that plan. Yeah. He. Oh, she. Uh, Judy could hang out with uh, with Zealous. Hello, Will Smith. Just hanging out, being an explorer. Lyrics. Where are the fucking lyrics? So was this song made, it was from a movie? What are we talking no, it's about? No, the, the artist is called Negative Land. So it's just a song. Yes. And the album this comes from is called True False. No longer. Here we go. I, th I found it. <coughs> Remember elyrics.info? Is, is that a website? Yes. There's nothing here yet. Thank you, elyrics.info. <laughs> we just wanted your clicks. Thanks. <laughs> we got your click. Oh, Promistein's being responsible. She learned safety mask. Oh, hey. And then she'll learn social distance. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, no, that's time zones. That's not the song I want. Well, I guess I'll have to listen to cipher the gold. lyrics. Worried Explorer. You know something, it's really hot here. Maybe I should take off my clothes. No one's here yeah. to see. Way ahead of you, Will Smith. All right. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm Will surprised Smith. to bump into you out here. Here's some advice. Take the hidden road to find the secret treasure hoard. Oh, okay. Thanks. I have a bee in my hand. What's at the arcade? Macho armor, budget tickets, bah. Macho armor? Isn't that the armor for, uh... Kenpachi. Yeah. That's like, Not uh... Working. That's Ooh. like a punk princess robe. Kind of. It it's looks like, uh, like goth wear. Stocking. Shh. 
He's just, he's just doing it. He, he's just... Why do I bother? <laughs> you bother because you bother. Just dog biscuits. It can pot you, eat up. So we're missing Nathan, Jack, and... Who's our the third party, our third party character? Uh... Corrin. Oh, Jack what? and Corrin are hanging out. Corrin. The cat. Oh, is Corrin? Oh yeah, he is there. Alright. <laughs> so the great sage left. I miss him. We can manage without him. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I have bad experience I'm with great here. sages. Oh no, I that's Promestein, not Lena. Yeah, science is more powerful than magic. I get my redheads confused. <laughs> yeah, that's right, she is right. Chrome would, would have been harder. Fuck yeah. Oh, you're a priest again. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Still can't really take a hit, though, that scientist. Indeed. Stupid MP eating griffin. Got some free goblin ham. Rare goblin ham. Did Kenpachi ever mention a barbecue at any point in Bleach, or we just did we just decide that he liked barbecues? No, he, he mentioned, like, hey, come by his squad sometime, we'll throw on the barbecue. Oh, to, to Ichigo? Yeah. Was that in, like, the... That was in the DS I think, game. I think it was... I think it was... Yeah, and it was after, uh... In the arc... Uh, where it was the Godfrey Ho arc where they all fought ninjas. Oh, was it? It was after Kenpachi, like, fought the ninja that was hiding in that girl. Or whatever the fuck was going on with I that. I just remember Ken Kenpachi breaking through a wall and grabbing, like, a, what appeared to be a teenage girl. It was, was younger than teenage. Someone. Oh, yeah? And then he's like, oh, hey, Ichigo, I was looking for you. And then, I, then they had a tea party. <laughs> They did! <laughs> I know, I know, I'm laughing because I just, I remember Kenpachi just sitting there with a bunch of little girls having a tea party. He's, he's a good, he's like a cool uncle, Kenpachi. Yeah. Good, good dad to you, uh, Yichiru. Too. Just... Uh, oh, okay, well those <laughs> are easy to beat. Yeah, I was about to say. It's like fighting bomb bombs from Paper Mario. But without them even suiciding on you. Oh, I think I started mentioning this during Book of Mario. I was wrong. There are actually multiple party members in uh, Origami King. But oh, yeah? I, I've only seen two so far, and they come and go, one at a time. Are you... Oh, so, like, man. Co like Colorado or, uh, or Flavio. That's still lame. It's pretty lame. When you go to Hub World, hold up, trust me. What what am I holding up for? There's like a chat oh, yeah. delay, so what should I be looking for? I got a present with a black ribbon. Saw this and thought of you. It's a photo of you being fired out of a tank. <laughs> He's gonna be pissed. A grand a piano. Grand piano. What? I really want a Zelos' good side. I sort of like you now. I want to be friends with Zelos. <laughs> or oh. was it Jack? Or no, is that Zelrog? I'm not in yet. What's at the arcade? 
Yeah, what's it? What's that? The roulette. Nothing good. Succulent and moist. Well, obviously, Kenpachi deserves the the ultra goblin meat. Yeah. Yes. Let's see, roast griffin. Attack and speed. Tornado lemonade. That's all you get. You guys get lemonade. That's filling, right? Those eyes. Oh, she doesn't like lemonade. What, promise times? Yeah. Ah, this is... Oh, Wants biscuit. A dog biscuit. Karoshi, you'll eat anything. Dog. He really is the most agreeable eater. <laughs> alien staff? <laughs> sure. Is that an alien? <laughs> It's made from element God. zero. <laughs> you you don't gotta, trust anyone. You gotta not even dude, yourself. You gotta don't trust anyone, not even yourself. I love that picture. I love that stupid fucking don't trust anyone, not even yourself picture. Okay, well there's a stream delay, so I'm gonna be holding up for like several seconds waiting to know what I'm holding up for. I'm being told to just, like, wait at the hub world. I think maybe it's like a... Just wait. Stand by. You can use this time to, to like, uh, show off the picture I'm talking about. <clears throat> Here we go. This is this is I'm uh, I'm sending it to you. Put this on the screen. Wait, where, get get the fuck up. There we go. Enter. I mean that is a pretty well known meme. Yes. Yes. The it's great. Just just the, the look on both of on his face. Just. <laughs> it's just like ultra serious. Well, nothing appears to be happening from holding up. So, uh, may may I continue now? It's, it's, do we do we have do we have your permission to continue? It's, it's Are just we there? Remember what the explorer told you? I did, did something about his hidden path. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to see Steve path. Harvey. This is not a 100% run. It's not even close. Alright, me parade. Who do we got? We got Umbreon, Double D, Dong, Toon Link. No. I, I would remember if Hercule walked by. He's he's Hercule, man. You still there, Jack? You, yeah. I was just like, you, you You said all that needed to be said about that. I, was, I wasn't sure if we disconnected again. If Discord's we disconnect, been doing that I'll... lately. Just kind of drops us without warning. Yeah. Oh, there's something on- Oh, that's promised? Why is she wearing an eye patch now? I feel like if anyone got Kenpachi to respect the use of magic, it would be Lena Inverse. Oh, yeah. You know what? You're a sissy magic user, but you make it look pretty not sissy. I like you. Who will be the brave soul to try this? The mushroom. For science! The important ah. thing! Is that now we know? We know now. Ah, oh, she's fine. She's an angel. Fine. Quick metabolism. It's fine. I purged my system of it. 
Didn't it turn out Kurotuchi had, like, several internal organs of each variety? Yes, he had a duplicate of each internal organ. And How then, the hell uh, did he fit that? It's Kenpachi. Who, it's, it's, uh, it's Kurosuchi. Who knows? I remember, like, like he lost his internal organ, and, and Kurosuchi just no-sold it. And, and he just started... The dude started, hit, like, beating the shit out of the doll. And he was just, like, just, nope. I'm not affected. Did I just feel one of my four hearts have an attack? <sighs> I thought Cell had two hearts. I, I thought the bit he said four. I don't remember for sure. Get to well soon. What do we got? What's at the roulette? Come on, something good. Uh, luxury tickets. Can make some money, potentially. Who's alone? Yeah. Judy? Judy. Poor Judy. Anything but MP candy. Just don't give me MP candy, please. We're running low on funds, yeah. so funds are nice to get. Yes, cash is needed. I got no one to go with. Oh, hey, uh, Ray, uh, Navarez Jr. started streaming Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How, how, how big a stream was it? He does, like, big six, eight-hour streams at a time. Uh, Seven hours, eleven minutes, eight seconds. Yeah. I should I should go from the very end, like start eight seconds, eleven minutes, seven hours. From now on, that's what I'll do. I'll do that. It will save the best for last. I, I think the cash is worth more than the the bonding pays for. Both for gameplay and for stream purposes, because I I, I want to see all the outfits. I want to buy stuff. Yeah, I do. I, I like more than you know a slight boost to friendship is all. Yeah. A royal portion of exp. Who's who's the, there, who's the lowest? Judy. There is. I just saw a video on on my fucking recommended stream on YouTube. Caught titled, There is No Hope for Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, okay. I, I've seen her popping up here and there recently. I don't know what's going on with that. Apparently, she's she's mean. Oh. Scandalous. <laughs> no, like, like, abusively mean. Oh. Mean. Like, not a nice person at all. There's a good wheel. We haven't gotten any MP candies. Watch me jinx it. Yep, you jinxed it. God damn it. Haven't got the lab gear either. Oh, come on! Mother! Son of a- it's a, it's a sign, I guess. But you should ignore it anyway. Keep on trucking. Full speed ahead. Who wants the roast griffin? Promise, Stein? You like griffin? You should- you should, uh, climb into that truck and start driving that truck towards the uh, wall. And when you see that wall coming closer to you, instead of breaking, you should start screaming. Arcane wand. Well, all <laughs> right, some sure. sailor, That's some Sailor Moon shit right there. This better not be a banana. <laughs> yeah, Imagine good. Lena Inverse with a Sailor Moon attack name. It was weird enough when they did that J-pop section. <laughs> Wait, where? What? What are you? Are you? Are we talking about Sailor Moon or this no, game? No, uh, Lena. 
in Slayers. They they found oh, that yeah. ancient spell and it was like a J-pop dance with her and Amelia. Oh yeah, and uh, I was uh, I can't about. feed y'all. We ain't got enough food. You're gonna have to take care of yourselves. We don't have enough food. Where's my food? All right, the castle. In the sky? No, not in the sky. Again? Are we all dead? Oh. Heard everyone go. Hey, you know, at least you're teamed up with Kimpachi. Yeah. Things would have been a lot worse if it would if it wasn't Kimpachi. Stained. Oh, that's gaudy as shit. I love it. Flowers got cheap clothing. That was only three hundred. St Stained glass. <laughs> that looks like that looks like some high fashion shit right there. <laughs> yeah. This is a Lady Gaga outfit. Imagine if the if like there was a serious Japanese salary man, except he was dressed in that. He just walked into the office wearing that one one morning, and everyone's like, "What the fuck?" Oh, hey, Karoshi. Hey. Casual Friday. <laughs> Hey, Ryoka, do you see this shit? Kuro did you see what Kuroshi just walked in with? You're seeing that too, right? It's so fucking weird. At least we have enough parties to- uh, enough party members to go between this both sides this time. Yeah. This castle's scary. I'll protect you, baby. Wait, do we regroup almost immediately? <laughs> no. We just, oh. we had eight party members and... Oh, okay. Do we have eight or we have seven? I guess we have seven. Seven. That fucking Pompadour ghost. Oh, we got three support characters. It's just Kenpachi as the damage dealer. Kenpachi and then three people supporting Kenpachi. Kenpachi, the carry. God what? Damn it, Kenpachi. Oh, he's been corrupted. Oh, oh they've all been. Cor I didn't. Oh, I only have one safe spot. God, fucking Kuroshi.exe over there. Uh, I should have changed. I should have changed Zelrog's uh class. Yeah, mid combat class changes aren't a thing. You can't just evolve your Char's- your Charmeleon in the middle of the fight? <laughs> Why not? It happened. Come on, Kuroshi, get better! No, I'll never get better. Eh! <laughs> Zelrog is not affected. I am unaffected. Yeah. You should, you should give somebody hyper sprinkles. Yeah. I guess it would have to be Kenpachi. Give Kenpachi meth. Meth Pachi. I guess. I wonder if they're hyper, if they're immune to status effects. Like if now he's uncorruptible. Shh. We'll find out. Beautiful flowers. Ow. These guys hurt. Oh, good. 
All the support. Have some reward sprinkles. I love meth. Kenpachi on meth for, for versus Aizen. Baki on drugs versus Yujiro. <laughs> Baki on drugs versus Yujiro in a wheelchair. Hmm, I saw be close. <laughs> Yujiro Hanma at the Cell Games. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so just underestimated. He's like, oh, you you look hype the evil out. Oh, I guess we can do that. So rage, assuming that that's accurate, replaces status effects. That's good to know. Get hype. So if somebody is suffering from evil, you just show them like uh, trailers from E3, and then and then they'll be cured. That's the way to do it. Here, Kenpachi, go nuts. You're our only hope. <laughs> We're struggling against normal enemies. This is not a good team comp. This team... <laughs> oops, all support class. We wouldn't have this problem if it was oops, all fighters. Yeah. It's amazing his outfit's intact. Also, doesn't place immunity to status effects. Oh, okay. So it, repla it replaces some attack, some status effects, but not all of them. What are you two talking about? I didn't sleep much. You talk in your sleep, and you're loud. Stop, quit talking to your daughter. You kept saying I'm flying. He's Kimpachi. Dragon Ball character. <laughs> magic and MP. You don't, you don't need magic and Pachi. Magic and Pachi. Eh, that's, that's, oh, we're, we're well. We got tickets again, but that's way too low a chance. Yeah. Swollen armor. Oh hey. What? It's here. It's here. Oh, uh, apparently Jelburu dot com are fine. Uh, are. Yo. Uh, Oh, the hey, blade she's turned... fan. It's like the like the the sword of the throne of swords, but a fan. Indeed. What happened to Jelburu? So they uh, they apparently uh, they're they're making Daki Makuras now. Oh, I I thought they'd been doing that a little while. I know they started selling merchandise. Yeah, that's a part of their merchandise now. There's is, rule uh, thirty four merchandise too. It's of gel. It's of G tan. Oh. Here it is, finally, after an entire year. We've done it. We've made the ultimate weeb product. Jelburu proudly presents to you the long-awaited Daki Makura. This is the time to be fearless. To make the monsters do all the cleaning. It really isn't. This is the time to be fearless. Show off the cuteness that is Jelby Rutana. Shout out to your window. Shout out uh, shout out your window that you are not to be fucked with. What the fuck? Is that? It's Nathan. Nathan. Where's your face, Nathan? Nathan Demon. <laughs> that is... That fits. Oh, I should have... I, I forgot again to go back to Thief. Maybe I shouldn't hyper him though, because that. He can't use his skills that way. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta hand wash it. It's not machine washable. The fact that you can't control your party members to try to, like, focus on one per one character first makes this yeah. more difficult at times. A bit. It's like, uh, it's like you, you want them to do something, but you have to, uh, trust that they'll have the good judgment to do it, except they're AI. So you know in your heart they won't do it. I would definitely like more varied interactions at the very least, assuming there were a Metopia sequel along the lines of Tamadachi. It's just hard to hard to fit that into a narrative. Yeah. Avenge. Maybe have it be endless. Like a, a roguelike that could work. Yeah. People play a me roguelike, uh, especially because there's random generation. You'd have random NPCs drawn from me's. Yeah, it would work. Unfortunately, the fact that me's are so buried on the Switch kind of makes it seem like they're kind of being phased out. Which is which is a shame. I'd love a Tomodachi too, personally. Metopia yeah. seems to be the more popular requested sequel among me fans, at least going by the, the Discord servers. But uh, Tamadachi was the more su commercially successful of the two by far. Indeed. This game didn't do that well, I, I, apparently. It was like, it was too unfocused, maybe? I don't know. Granted, Tamadachi was a sequel, so that would help its numbers in Japan pretty significantly, I imagine. Yeah, this is a new IP, I guess. Doubt Mies are coming back after Ultimate since they haven't really been out and about. The only reason I could conceivably see them returning for uh, the next Smash game is because they're a source of income and DLC, is the Mii costumes. Yeah, that, that would just, make... If the Mii creator was not on the system, they would have to pretty much include it with the next Smash. I I would like I I'm wondering maybe I don't know. Avatars in general are kind of going out. Like Xbox doesn't have them anymore, does it? Yeah, I think they realized they could be abused or something, or people they're just not as popular as they were anymore. I, I, I thought they were kind of cool. Yeah. Well, people can always just make their own stuff on, like, a profile, I guess. What no! The... Okay, we need to have a... Avenge! Avenge! We need to avenge Kenpachi! Oh, I, I, that was the killing <laughs> blow! <laughs> I did it, Kenpachi! I will avenge you, Fright impales him with a fucking staff. Yippee. Oh, spin slash, striking all enemies in the vicinity. All right, you got an area attack. Finally. Devil protein, get swole. Oh, he doesn't have a catchphrase. None of these guys were around long enough to get catchphrases. Nope. Glad you're back to normal. It was pretty awesome being a demon. I'll fight by your side, but first, I need a nap. I need a, a nap. <laughs> There's a video. How I lost $1,200 playing Fall Guys. It's Lonk. Lonk. Did we assign him, or did we just randomly get Lonk? Cause that's, I think we uh, just... Apparently that's like an infamous me for this game, is the Lonk. He's huh. like a meme. Don't go. Oh, that's blackmail material. Pleasure doing business with you. All 
All right, we have Nathan Explosion available. Unfortunately, I don't think the Pop Star is an amazing class, if I remember correctly. <laughs> All right, first off, you're going back to Thief for now. I have become a thief. We need some damage. I I'm gravitating towards the damage classes for sure. What do we got? Doesn't look good. HP banana. No thanks. Devil protein attack and magic, sure. No need to make a deal for the devil for results. Just eat a bunch of devil food cake and you will gain infinite power. Oh, okay, sure. What is this, magic? More power! What do you think? Should we have the princess or the pop star? Uh, let's have the pop star. He can he can resolve tensions with his wonderful voice. Horsetail shoot. Okay. Oh, he took his hat off. Yeah. He got sick of it. I guess it got in the way. <laughs> Heart threads. Oh. It's pretty metal. He, spe uh, by the way, this is kind of random, but. Uh... Camo armor. <laughs> Tactical. Uh, there was a... <laughs> yeah? There, there was a game show in the 2000s. I don't know if you've heard of it. Oh, Nathan! I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called, uh, it's called Moment of Truth. You heard of it? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, Moment of Truth is a game show in which the contestant is asked uh, 60 questions uh, while attached to a polygraph. And, yeah. And they ha and and after they get the results, they they sit on the chair in front of like their family and friends and uh, and they have to add, and they have to say whether or not uh, they have to say yes or no in front of them and then and then uh and then <laughs> this game show is so fucked up <laughs> and then they have to say yes or no in front of to a question and then the and then a voiceover says whether or not that was true or false and if it was true they get to go on and have the potential to earn more money yeah and if it's false they lose it all so the family members have to guess? No, they the, the contestant guess says well, yes or no, and whether or not that the answer is true or false. So it's, the whole game is whether they're willing to admit it or not. Yes, and apparently there was a controversial episode that the host was like, "I, I don't, I didn't want to air this, but the producers thought otherwise," and it was just this woman admitting to a whole bunch of heinous, like, like personally, just like sad shit in front of her husband yeah. for the chance to win some money just like did you ever text an old boyfriend yes that answer is true and, th and throughout it the boyfriend was just looking more and more sad and then at one point there was one question that was asked by and her ex-boyfriend's like do you think you should be married to me instead of him yeah or no, the first the first question. No, so the the family members have a button they can hit that'll that'll allow them to substitute a question out for another one, but they can only use it once, and any one of them can hit it. And as this the show was going on, the husband was just refusing to hit the button. He's like, "No, I want to know." Yeah. And then for the the boyfriend came out. I was like, "Do you think if if you had the chance to divorce your hus your, your husband and marry me, would you?" 
and then and then the husband's like i'm not i want to know i want to know lady and then the sister the, the her sister actually hit the button and the yeah. host's like why, why the fuck would you want to do that i don't want to know and then you know what the replacement question was what do you think that you should have married me instead of your husband <laughs> it's like that's the same fucking question <laughs> and you know what she said what yes and at the very end after she admitted to like an affair that that she would be willing to feed a dog rather than a homeless person yeah you know you know what the, the question that ended up tripping her up was what do you believe that you are a good person did she say yes yes and it was a lie <laughs> <laughs> you know you know that's like that's like a story right there yeah. that is a that it, is it a reads tragedy. like one what it reads like one yeah it reads like a story but it actually happened well as far as we know and that it was a game show maybe did she wait, just did... got one shot in does this dude always do that fiend Kill. Man, no, maybe target the guy that one shots he with does. every attack instead of the butterflies first. Enlarge weapon. Get him, Promestine. Hmm. Well, you might want to hype. Should we? Yeah. It's a. Oh wait, what? Uh. Hmm. He only dealt four. Too late. We got we got to wait for the turn sequence. Well, uh, it's good to know that exists. Fiend. Oh man, the food they dropped must be legendary. Oh, we rescue. We, we crossed the threshold with those two butterflies. Whoever's face that is, they're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just watching that that was that was incredible watching that. It was like I, want, I wonder what the ratings were like. Probably high. <laughs> Probably high. It that was, seems like it was something that people... people wouldn't like watching but would not be able to turn away from. It was it was a train wreck. That that's like a or a car crash. That yeah. was like how a car crash happens and you can't turn away. That's what the that's what they that was the logical conclusion of that show. That was how that show and that was the worst it got. Yeah. That was the worst it can get short of somebody admitting to like rape or murder. Yeah. The questions were targeted, you think. You think that they that like hired a private investigator to dig up secrets and then lead them on? No. I'm sure they were targeted to be like really things they wouldn't want to answer they got her ex-boyfriend in there to say hey would you rather marry me instead of this your husband yeah do you think you're a good person <laughs> poetic oh good there's that not is... a fiend on this route it's a clever imp just some harry potter nerd nerd you know, I didn't really get to express it the way I wanted in the books, but this is actually how I intended Harry Potter to look. You see, he was supposed to be an imp the whole time. Oh, man. <laughs> also, Hermione was black, and Ron has a 12-inch dick. <laughs> he's... But, but Giddy, he's 12 inches. That's like two inches bigger than how we joked that Naruto is. Hmm. Hinata is the only girl in the village who likes Naruto. Hinata is the only girl in the village who can see through clothing. Coincidence? <laughs> can we 
may make maybe... it without all getting one shot in. Okay, we're good. So you're saying that if Sakura had X-ray vision, she'd be all over Naruto, is what is what you're saying? Or maybe. <laughs> Apparently, she does like try to go for him at some points in Shippuden or something, right? Yeah, no. And then and then Naruto and he's like, yeah, g come on, Sakura, don't lie to me. Some. Right, so we're at this is the final dungeon then. I guess so. Hopefully when we meet up we uh we get to fight the Dark Lord. Take out Ganondorf. Oh no! It was a trap, you fight a mimic no no. Is this the only Nintendo game that has less like emulation style speed up button? It seems to work at pretty much all times. I don't think it's the only game, but I don't know for sure. They've added some variations of the emulators they've had on their consoles have had save states. I know the Nintendo Online does. It's kind of bizarre to think the, like, really shitty, low-effort Chinese indie games they've allowed on, like, the Wii U shop at times. Yeah. But not, like, ROM hacks. <laughs> they, what if they did allow ROM hacks? I mean, fuck it, sure, just put up free fan projects, get exposure for your official games. Put a link to the official game underneath the ROM hack. See, that's what somebody would do if they were, like, you know, smart. Or, like, they weren't as uptight about, uh, uh, wait, why is Promise Dine doing exercise? For science? I don't know. So they're both technically like the third highest rank of their respective opposite races. Yeah. Watch Lab Gear be a. Oh, that's some steampunk shit right there. A Time Lord librarian. Or macho costume. I nice go with the Time game. Lord Librarian, yeah, honestly. Both, actually. <laughs> We're not getting any good armor roulettes this time around. No. We got some earlier. What's the most zealous looking? He kind of wore purple, right? Purple. Or purple. He, he wore like dark blue. I'm feeling extra sexy today. Apparently there's a Star Trek cartoon called Star Trek Lower Decks. I've heard about that. And I've heard and... Eh, <laughs> things about it. Yeah, all, all the YouTube videos talking about it is, like, talking about how awful it is. How it completely misses the point of what Star Trek is liked for. Hey, you know what's popular? Family Guy. You know what else is popular? Star Trek. It's just the yeah. setting of Star Trek people like, right? Not the writing, or the characterization, or the setting. Or, like what, setting. It, or, what, it's, or what it's about. Or... You know, boldly going... Uh, we'll pull the right lever. You, you know, I, I would write, uh, uh, if I were to write, like, a Star Trek, uh, like, story, it would be about, like, a crew just going into more uncharted... Corin! I'm a painting! Study of Corin! <laughs> oh, this is, this is a unique boss fight. I have mo most of my Star Trek comes from proxy through Vinny, and uh, Did I, you talk I, I about, Lower about Decks? that just being a show that doesn't have any of the spirit of Star Trek, and Star Trek Picard being a very, like, schlocky action show that also isn't really in the spirit of any of the original series. Yeah. It's like they looked at the Kelvin timeline and were like, eh, let's just do that. 
it's kind of sad watching both Star Trek and Star Wars go through that kind of corporate meddling at the same time. Yeah. It's like watching a franchise suffering from dementia. God damn it, eating bananas. Oh, that's right, none of these are healers. You know, as much as I'm sad that it's no longer on air, at least I didn't, like... At least it didn't. Person of interest didn't uh, wasn't on in on air long enough for it to m completely miss the point about what it was about. Yeah, kind of a big franchise. Yeah. Although. No. God of, damn it! I can't save you, it. Lena. Oh no. It's okay. You can do it. Just use hype kit. Just use just hype sprinkle both of them. Yes, I mean they're not physical yeah. attackers. I mean you have no. Cho well, you do have a choice, I guess. I think they're better off using their skills, especially because they have a good amount of MP. Lena, you tried so hard. Oh. Rat. I forget if there's like a button to view boss HP. Uh, there's a way you could. I don't remember. Oh, oh I guess we have to we have to like pause to see it. Okay, you're all, it's almost dead. So, come on, get him. Zelos, you idiot! Tee hee. His guard is down. Nice. We've saved Corn's... the cat. Why? I'm the last one. I, I figured it would be since you were the first one we added. By the way, I, I just noticed apparently a, a Djibouti dubs played Fall Guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How many people are on the... It was originally one dude, right? No, it was... I think it was always, like, a few dudes. Uh, it's three right now. It's, uh... I know it's three because when I watch Dub It Out, it's just the three of them just uh, doing on-the-spot dubs of, of random YouTube videos they find. Yeah. Wow, this is really something. Fine. I guess. Paying 20 gold for nothing. Start local snake tosser eat. Lena and Promestein. We combine magic and science, Lena. We will become unstoppable. We'll just fuse and become an alchemist. <laughs> just put on the Potara earrings. Steel claws. Oh, man. What? What would that be like? Like a Lena fusion and between Promestein and Lena. What would the results in personality be? Uh. Full of herself and excited about science. Oh, so it would be. It'd be fucking. Uh, that one character from Girl Genius. Or, sure. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Uh, neither do I. I forget what the cat does. Just fight. He's a cat. He's a kitty cat. He just kind of dance, dance, dance. He dance, dance, dance. Like old, old memes bringing him back. It's an older meme, sir, but it checks out. I was about to clear him. Oh, okay. Now we're good. I don't want to leave without Corin. He's a member of the team. Open up that hand and let me see the bee. You will no longer tease me about my bee. We are reunited. Okay, cool. We got almost everyone. Here, you two see if you can figure out the fusion thing. God, that would make... Wouldn't that make Lena, like, half angel? I guess, yeah. It kinda, personality might be kind of like Kuratsuchi. Oh. Like an excitable, confident Promestein. Oh, man. Nicer, too. 
Or actually, you might, get, you might just get chrome if you put them together. <laughs> We're getting no food. Gower, uh, so... So Lena Stein would... Uh, <laughs> Gowry, I don't know how Gowry would react to Lena Stein. <laughs> what are you picturing? Just Gowry like, Lena, you, you're different. It's Lena Stein now. I'm interested in science. She's gonna spend a lot of her time studying like specific magic applications. She's gonna she's gonna create a, a, a harnessed version of the dragon slave as like a laser beam. I mean Lena's already an academic in terms of magic. Like she knows yeah. lots of things. Oh man, she, she would spend be... the first episode, I think, like converting stuff to gold in order to make it sell better. <laughs> She, she would, oh man. Okay, I got, I got another one. Uh, what, what would happen if, uh, if you were to fuse, um, Baki Hanma with Kenpachi Zaraki? Uh, well, you wouldn't get Yujiro, because Yujiro's an asshole, and neither of them are yeah. assholes. If you, like, imagine, imagine if Yujiro was, like, a nice guy, and you got Baki... Uh, you just get Goku? Kenbaki. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, he neither of them are dumb enough. He would be as dumb. Yeah. He, uh, I tell you what, he would still love to fight. He it also really depends on which Baki, because the manga one is apparently more excitable and bouncier. Yeah, those, <laughs> as those opposed to anime Baki, who's more, um... He's just serious. dead serious all the time. I love manga Baki. Manga Baki... I, that was the Baki I read, and I'm like, oh, I like this guy. He just, he just, he's kind of like a more down to earth Goku. He gets a. Oh, I, those bombs are great! Yeah, bombs are great. Sharp stew. Kind of, kind of got Yusuke vibes. Oh, from, uh, from. From a well, manga Yusuke... Baki. Oh, okay. Well. I mean, I mean, Yusuke didn't kiss a fist before he dodged it. Yeah, it was a little flashier than Yusuke. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Judy's room. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got it. Uh, if you use Yusuke Urameshi with Baki Hanma. I guess Anime you just, Baki. uh... Well, he, you'd get manga Baki. Yeah. <laughs> With spirit, with spiritual powers. Yeah. <laughs> Man, imagine the stuff he could do. Bakusuke again... could blow up this whole damn world if he wanted to. <laughs> Nothing can kill him. Not even a nuke. Like, some exaggerations over the course of Baki. Yeah. <laughs> I like to, th you know, there was that earthquake at the very, towards the tail end of the first season, and Yujiro punched the ground and it stopped. I like to think that that was a coincidence. Oh, he gets the Ganon sword! Oh! Yeah. Doria! Who stole my sword? That's quite a boost, too. Oh, man. Yujiro Hanma is like a super villain in like a comic book. Yeah. Just the way he acts, his power level. Like he's the kind of guy that Doctor Doom would call in order to like in order to like stop a superhero team. He's comically evil but without a cause. Like, it's even, great. Yeah. More so he's... than so comic book villains. They usually have something to do. They want to conquer a city or something. Yujiro just doesn't give a fuck. He's the strongest, and so he's chronically bored, so he just... He just trolls people. He goes That's and trolls and murders people for fun. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a good six, team comp. Six, six rescued. <laughs> we don't have a support, so I guess I could replace, like, uh, Lena with someone. Nathan. Why, specifically, I was thinking of a healer. Oh, none of the oh. healers can take a hit is the problem. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's an interesting enemy configuration. I, j I just noticed it. Oh, I just noticed it, too. 
You see, you see, if it, if it encounters the Twerky, it grows a little bit. Yeah, gets one one ball ta taller. Sharp stew. I wouldn't want to eat a sharp stew. That would go down terribly. Maybe it's just maybe it's just got lots of spice. What what would you oh, describe as a sharp taste? A shark taste? A sharp taste. Uh cheddar. So something Like have you ever had sharp cheddar? Yeah. Yeah, something like that, except with here. Have a candy. Look at this absolute unit we have. I guess, fuck it, who needs healing when you got damage like this? Okay, I got another fusion idea. Yeah? We fuse Yugi Moto with Gone Freaks. Oh, I can't choose who to attack. Uh... I get... That would make Gone, like, uh... A better strategist, right? Yeah, it also it also make him more moral because he would have a moral compass finally, as opposed to just being kind of the amoral sociopath. Well, he his entire moral honor. compass is based around his friends and being loyal to them, which is also Yugi. So yeah, but he would also not be not uh, not defeat enemies just so he'd be more well rounded. He'd just be extra loyal to his friends. I guess, yeah, and. uh... I, I think he would be more of a loose cannon. You think so? Slightly. They'd more well, more so than was... Yugi, yeah. Yeah. Um... They'd cover each other's weaknesses, though. Like, one's the brain and one's the brawn. <laughs> yeah, it's like if Yugi, Yugi duels, and then and then if they lose the duel and uh, and they want to fight anyway, Yugi can kick his ass. Yeah. Show me. And you know what? He's He's the king of games, right? Yeah. Show me rock, rock, paper, scissors. It's perfect. That, that inability. Yeah, it would complement each other well. Butterfly. Would that? Honey. So was that mean? Does that mean that Kilua has to fuse with Joey? I, I guess that doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> that would be weirder. Would it be a shorter Joey or a taller Kilua? Would they meet in the middle? I guess. Okay, would, Nar oh. Naruto and Gon, Sasuke and Kilua. Naruto and Gon. Oh man! They both end up worse from that than just Gon God. and Kalua. Naruto Gon G Garuto would be a would be even more of like a basket case. Yeah, he would be a he would be a fucking wild child. He'd be jumping into everything headlong. He'd die immediately. <laughs> I don't know if you if they have the best of both worlds, their ability it would be Naruto with the demon and also Nin abilities yeah. as well as as having enhanced sense of smell and stuff. And so both of them have legendary genes. Yes, it would be he would be like have high potential. I think Sasuke and Kilua fusing would make Sasuke more loyal. Yeah, they would actually get along. They would be they would get along really well, and. Uh, and you know, I think, I think, uh, I think... And Sasuke would realize, Sasuke. hmm, maybe having a family doesn't necessarily solve all your problems. Yeah, and, uh, and maybe he would return Sasuke to Sakura's affections earlier, I don't know. But they would both have lightning abilities, which means that the Jory would be like a fucking railgun. Yeah. That'd he'd be, get like the, he'd get a projectile Hidori. A Chidori. Yes! <laughs> Thunderfist God. And you know what, Kakashi would be like, "Wow, this team's Everyone actually wants functional." Bananas. That would also mean what? Everybody wants bananas. <laughs> they need their potassium, bro. <laughs> Except for him, we have a, we have a potassium de 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 deficiency on this here crew. <laughs> Man, everybody's getting fucking scurvy. Do you think Ichigo Goku? would help balance out Goku. Smarter Goku. I, oh god, that would make that would make Goku slightly more serious. That would I guess like, that would result in a more like superheroish Goku. 
Yeah, he would be, he would become Superman Goku, except he would also, as well as being a Saiyan, also be a Soul Reaper. He'd be kind of aloof around his family, but at least he'd be there for them. Yeah, he would he would care more for his family. Just be he'd be kind of like stern, and, but he would also like be around. Despite hey, being Chi -Chi, the most boring. Hey, Chi -Chi, how's how's Ichi Goku? <laughs> I don't know. He's he's all right. He's he's a bit. He's more caring than he was. He's around. Um. Oh man, would his Zanpakuto still be the same, or would it change? I guess so. Do you think it'd like get power pull properties? Oh. <laughs> what what's up with your sword? It grows longer. Oh, so it's just Gein's sword. <laughs> no, it's only the hilt grows. The sword, the blade stays the same, but he can swap it around, and he has a staff. <laughs> There you go. Despite being one of the more boring protagonists, he's also Ichigo's one of the more likable ones too. Yeah, because he's just he's an ordinary high school student done he right. Have anything... And there's and when that's done right, he doesn't it's have a really a more... annoying, glaring personality flaw that appears in every episode. Yeah, I, I oh I just, he's just realized kind of a nice if slightly serious guy. I just realized is that is that uh, Ichigoku. Yeah. He would have both Super Saiyan and Bankai. Yeah. Which would mean that Frieza would be fucked. Also, I guess uh, I guess that would make Goku more willing to kill. I, I guess so, Ichigo yeah. Goku was willing to go right to the end. He had to have his sword convince him, convince him to do that, though. That's the thing. Ichigo's arcs in his inner worlds were so often about, like, you love to fight, Ichigo. Admit that you love to fight. No, I don't. Shut up. And go being with Goku would immediately bypass that. Yeah, his, his uh, Zanpakuto spirit would be like, I like you now that you're fused with a Saiyan. Ichigo, <laughs> you like to fight. I know. Jack armor. <laughs> there he uh, is. I'm here. Even if, we'll... even if I choose to control my character, I can't pick which target to attack, though. Oh, that's a shame. Which kind of defeats still... the purpose of those bombs. Wait, Lena, how are you going to pitch in? Maybe it's oh. just no, because I'm a thief, and my attack hits everybody is why that didn't work. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's Promise Time, so that's not that yeah. surprising. Okay. Uh, should I use life on her or should I save it? You think? Uh, save it. Use hype on uh, on someone. Okay. Yeah. Use hype on on Zelrog. Do both. I kind of I kind of want to do the the life now though, so we because we'd have yeah, more attacks it, over the course of the battle. You can go for it. I just hope she doesn't get one shot it again. Oh, Crack Kenpachi's willing to help Crack Zelrog. Swords down. I hope they don't come back. Shield's down. Oh, really? Are you serious? He's a summoner. I guess the armor itself doesn't attack, he just summons these things. Oh yeah. no, he attacked once. Oh no, the meth wore off. Plenty more of that! Oh, uh, so... Uh... Gone fused with, uh, Ichigo. Now that would really level them out. <laughs> would that- he would ascend to, like, to, like, uh, becoming a Buddha. <laughs> Ichigo's also kind of reckless, though, so... Yeah, he'd be that, doubly reckless. That wouldn't reckless. go away. Um... So, well, that, that's actually kind of a boring combination, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fuse Hercule with Don Kanonji. It'd be Hercule with actually some amount of key power. Yeah, and and he would be his ego. I'm the world champ! Whoa! That, that would mean Hercule would capitalize even more on his fame, because he'd have, like, TV charisma. Yeah. Hercule himself just kind of uh, makes rare public appearances and then just lounges. 
The thing is, I think this is the difference between the two, is that Hercule kind of knows when he's outmatched. He kind of is like, oh, oh shit, whereas Don Kanonji doesn't. He's just like, all right, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm back. I can cook f for you all, finally. See you, Jack. Oh, well, there you go. I remember the, the chef is a good class for both damage and healing. Yeah. So get I the, guess uh, you can in. replace Lena. You were you were born to be a thief. Uh, got some free gold. We need that. Yeah, we do. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who for the purposes of a boss fight, you think it's better to take uh, Lena or Promistein, the major, the scientist? Probably Promistein, because Promistein has has buffing abilities as well as area of effect attacks. We need area of effect for a boss, though. Oh, wait. Kuroshi and uh, Judy. Listen to this. I heard something about Jack recently. Is that true? You'd never tell just by looking. Is Jack gonna hear? Jack, Am I gonna hear? No, okay, I, I didn't hear. I don't care. Uh, so, uh... Oh, everyone uh, has weapons. Luxury frying pan. Tempting. Steel claws. Violet. I guess that's a benefit of the flower class, is very cheap equipment. Because Kuroshi stuff is cheaper than everyone else's. Fuse Luffy with Kenpachi. Hmm. That would be... They're both, they're both very happy dudes who like to fight. Yeah, and one's dumber than the other. Well, I don't think Kenpachi would add any intelligence. He just... No, he's, I... Kenpachi has philosophical moments. You remember when he talked to the, the, the Light Yagami about Ivy? Oh yeah, that's right. I like when Kenpachi just randomly spouts poetry. <laughs> Luffy just ran he's not an spotting. idiot. He just really, really likes to fight. <laughs> it, would, it would be, it would be like just, just Luffy just being like. Or, also, Luffy would get okay. So the power boost uh, from combining the two would be astronomical. Yeah, uh, Luffy would become a Soul Reaper uh, with uh, with his Zanpakuto being being a little girl who is also his daughter. Uh. Hey, you must be new, Kinchan. Whoa, who are you? Hello, Yeet Taters. We're talking about fusions. You got any fusions you want to suggest? This, this is this is the Metopia stream, where the game more or less plays itself, so we end up talking about anime a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait. Can we fuse Hercule with Kaiba? Hmm. We well, we talked about them, like, meeting because they're both the ultimate anime skeptics. Yeah. It's a trick! It's not real! Well, the, the difference Versus... is that Hercule, Hercule eventually... Well, they both eventually came to believe that they're okay. Yeah, Kinda, somewhat. It was never really super explicit with Kaiba. Like, Hercule totally accepted that the Z-Warriors were real and became Unwell. friends with them. Kaiba was just until the very end for the longest time denying anything <laughs> magical going on in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, As actual monsters attacked him and he got warped through fucking time. He's just like, oh, shit, this, this isn't, not even, this day was weird. Just, nope, not happening. You, you dork friends and your stupid tricks. You must be nearing the Dark Lord's castle by now. I'm right behind you in spirit. Thanks, Konata. Okay. You fuse, uh, you fuse Konata with Sakura from, uh, from Naruto. Konata's already, like, a really good fighter. You'd have the technique combined with the raw strength. Also, I think Sakura would be, if her, if, if, Sakura would be way more chill, but would have an, a really like strong-willed inner personality as she does in uh, 
and canon. Yeah. It should just be like, it should be like, hey, Sasuke, you want to play some of my games later? Oh, well, you're cruel, just Sasuke. Be, uh, more of a free spirit in general. She she wouldn't be as mean to Naruto. She'd be more teasing towards him. Isn't Konata canonically bisexual? Was that ever explicit? Or is I, that just I, mostly a fan thing? I think it was a fan thing. That she leaned uh, more... Uh, she expressed interest in guys at points in the anime. Uh, maybe she is bi then. Uh, that dealt a lot of damage. Okay. Moving on. Uh... Oh, no, I got it. You fuse, you fuse Yugi Moto with uh, Lelouch from Code Kiosk. <laughs> That's a dangerous combination of abilities and strategic. <laughs> well, it, just strategic. The He's already the king of games. Do you need Lelouch on top of that? He would be, he would have won, like, against the Empire Britannia if you, if, if, uh... He would have immediately Lelouch... targeted Bakura in the Duelist Kingdom arc and solved the series there. <laughs> he would have figured it out. <laughs> Just I've seen 500 moves ahead. He's playing five-dimensional chess with everyone. <laughs> he would be. He would oh. be that dude from the fucking when the hero is just as smart as the villain video. Yeah, the pro ZD. Uh, no, uh, Carl. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Caleb City. Ah. They both went up against mind readers too. Yeah, but you know what? What if? It, okay, if you're fusing with Yugi, that means that he would do the mind shuffle and then just. <laughs> That's how he beats Mao. Yeah, Mao was like, "Why do you have two minds?" Well, technically, I have three, but but one of them is just fused. Lelouch and Ichigo. We have to combine the Johnny Young Bosch. I was thinking about that. It would be it would be Ichigo. He, I think Lelouch would be nicer if, yeah. if he had an Ichigo in him. Uh, oh god, but he have a he have Gios and also so, uh, uh, Soul Reaper powers. Yeah. That's dangerous. He Imagine would be Ichigo able... with all of his genes and he's royalty. You know what? Because Lelouch was uh, was like an was like a very poor fighter. He wasn't even an average fighter. He was just kind of. He was out of shape, canonically. Yeah. If he had, he would be able to. If he had Ichigo, like if he was part Ichigo, he would be able to solo nightmare frames. Yeah. Just like cut them in half. <laughs> like like if Lancelot started like like shredding nightmare frames in uh, in that early part, he'd just be like, "Fuck it, I gotta take care of this myself." <laughs> he just grabs a sword and starts fighting Suzaku. <laughs> It just was like, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm being bested. Don't they have an experimental nightmare frame? No, he's just fighting me with a sword. What? Let's see, okay. Promestine. Is 10 the max? Yeah. Let's try we, that. We got all our party members. Okay, I got another one. Uh, you combine Lelouch with Light Yagami. That's not pleasant to think about. That's that would he would become the villain because yeah. he was already borderline in the show, and then you add a bit of Light Yagami, he would become like I will become. <laughs> he was very Are much you... in uh, in end the ends. Justify the means is Lelouch. Yeah, I don't think he would. I think he would be in between the two. I don't think he would go full on like a god. Am I? But, he, but I. You'd still be trying to overthrow Britannia. Yeah, through any means necessary. I think he would. He. Would, I think he would also. He would become somewhat tyrannical. Now, if he fused with L, I guess that would be the thing because Lelouch, at a point became emperor yeah light uh, with light in him he'd roll with that if he, be, he would become emperor and he wouldn't execute the 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 uh de the, the zero the requiem big, yeah the he big would just, ending he would just, twist no i like this i'm gonna stay emperor i'm gonna stay emperor and i'm gonna become god of the, he would become i will become he, emperor of the new world 
Now what if now now opposite end? What if uh, Lelouch fused with L? L doesn't seem very motivated for the purpose of justice. I mean, he's you think, a detective. You think Lelouch would just let things go? He would just be like, I don't, I don't care about this revenge anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna help around on the sidelines. I think it would hurt Lelouch's <laughs> motivation if he had L in him. I think. I think maybe he would go the Suzaku route. Yeah. And try like to infiltrate and, from inside. Yeah. Suzaku's like, hey, you're joining Britannia too. I'm gonna try to change it from the inside. What a coincidence. So will I. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a boring show, though. It would yeah. just be like a but. It would just be like a fucking procedural cop, procedural cop show or something. That was Roy Mustang's arc as well in Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, could I'm be gonna become interesting. Pure. Could be an interesting character perspective if it was executed well. Yeah. The slow it, rise to power, fixing a corrupt system. Yeah. It never goes well, though. No, never. It, it, it's always bittersweet. It'd be nice to see it played <laughs> in right. a way, in a heroic way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something completely off the wall here. Oh, okay. Uh, the Lelouch uh, fused with Dio Brando. <laughs> hmm. That same result. He just become what? emperor and stay there. Yeah. But but he would do it fabulously. Yes. Very, he's already fabulous. He's motherfucking zero. He, <laughs> he loves would, to be flashy. He would be, he would be even more... <laughs> he, the this, difference is that this version wouldn't wear the mask. He would, he would be... He would, he would I am be Deluge. unabashed. I would... I am Deluge uh, Brand LaRouche. <laughs> or whatever the Know fuck. Know me. Is. Big brother, are you okay? Never better, sister. They call him the Vampire of Britannia, except actually this time. <laughs> it's, that dude it's with so... five nicknames in Code Geass and none of them mattered. He d died immediately or something. He would fucking... Oh, man. So well done. <laughs> it just... <laughs> he would be broken as fuck. Oh, I got, I got a backflip. Backflip? Oh, cool. You can dodge easier now. Ah, uh, what else? Um, Vegeta, with someone. Vegeta. Vegeta with. Yugi Moto. The hair I'm, gets twice as big. I am the king of all games. And if somebody doesn't like the fact that... <laughs> if someone doesn't acknowledge him as the king of games, he gets really pissed off about it. <laughs> Dude, hey. V v Vugi. Hey, Vugi, you seem to be a bit sore about this. I am, a, I am the king of games, Joey. Uh, yeah, I, I know, but... Yeah, but you know what? Vegeta would would have the value of friendship. Yeah. Because because he'd have Yugi and he's like, "You are my friend, Joey. Once I take over this planet, I, I you will be spared." Uh, th thank thanks, Vugi. Ah, nuts on them if they don't if they don't acknowledge you as the king of games. We got the power of friendship. That's not yeah. good enough. But it's a second. But it, it it's called close second. I, I will admit that. Oh man, <laughs> it was almost uh, this is almost a talk to uh, AI dungeon stream <laughs> with me. Any stream is an AI dungeon stream. Uh, okay. What about Goku and Vegeta? Oh wait, that actually happened. Uh. Gone and Lelouch. I don't think that would they would benefit from that. <laughs> they would cancel each other's positive traits out. He would, or or he would just swing. He would be the kind of person who does like crazy tactical maneuvers that are like uh, are like high ultra high risk but pay off because nobody fucking like. No like, one expects them. Is it coming? Like, what the fuck is this strategy? No one expects the Lagone Inquisition. 
<laughs> Look out. <laughs> you know what though? He would he would uh he would be ultra loyal to uh to uh he wouldn't He'd be loyal to his cause. Like Lelouch is not that loyal. He would he would found the he would like he would be more interested in in making sure Japan was free than on getting revenge on his father because Cannon Gone didn't really give a shit about his father. Yeah, except to hunt him down. Well, no, he did. Yeah, he gave well, a very strange amount of a shit about his father. God, considering he'd never met the guy. <laughs> Lagone would be the kind of person that that's just, that's like got the crazy tactical abilities, and all the people who see his like gene, his quote unquote genius at work would. But you know what else? He would he would totally reveal that he was zero to everybody he worked with. He would yeah. like reveal his real identity because Gone didn't doesn't like keeping secrets. Hey, you yeah, know what? Your- you know what dragons are. There are these massive creatures. And they fly around wherever they like. Oh yeah, that's right. We're playing this. And breathe and flames breathe. and burn everything. I read, I read a book, but they're not actually real, right? They're just a fairy tale. They don't exist. We're in a world of slimes and golems and demons, and we're questioning the existence of dragons. It's that weird, like, conditional skepticism trope. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, a dragon. Literally in the... There gotta be a Dark Lord and a dragon. Every time. There is always a dragon. Maybe sometimes the Dark Lord is the dragon. That happens occasionally. O- often in Fire Emblem, that's the case, I understand. Yeah, it's a common thing. Marth fucking uh, hates dragons. I gotta kill all the dragons. Hate them! Hate dragons! Hate them! You're huge, so you must have huge guts. I guess you know what, Kenpachi? You two are hyper. There you go. Go nuts. Take all the drugs. (laughs) Go, 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 Lou. Go. What? What is uh? What's Baki serialized in? That's not shown in Jump. I yeah. Let me. I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. I'll, I'll look it up. We got Baki. Imagine if we did get Baki characters in Jump Force. Not oh. the Jump Force is that uh, Jump Games. It'd be cool to have them involved in the crossover. The thing is, is that Baki. It's too. I I think it's just barely a shonen. Yeah. It's uh violent. Weekly, but... weekly shonen champion. What else do they do? Oh, B stars. Okay. Oh, I just realized this is something that I that I uh, that I remembered just now. Uh, you know who you know who does B stars? Who? You know you you're familiar with B stars, right? Barely. What is it? It's that uh, it's like anime uh, Zootopia. Oh, okay. They're all animals, and like the main character is a wolf. And, and, and his love interest is a rabbit or a lamb. Okay. Um, the person who does B stars is the daughter of the Baki dude. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And they're, they're they're running concurrently now. So when did uh, when did B stars start? Uh, premiered in 2016. Let's see what else? I'm trying to. I'm scanning it. I'm trying to. A uh, bunch of Saint Seiya stuff. Uh. Oh, this dragon is destroying us. Blackjack. The Doctor. The Doctor series. Judy Honey. The fuck? The f- I've heard that be- that name before. My Hime. Yeah, just just a bunch of uh, S. Cryed. That's a, that's one I've recognized. That's one I recognized. The dragon dead yet? Oh, oh you're. Yeah, we got got. Shit. And we tried so hard. 
got so far, but in the end. Okay. Uh, do we say Baki and Gon yet? I don't think so. That would be scary. Yeah. That'd be like legitimately scary. That that combination. Continuing that, Gene be Freaks close. and Yujiro Hanma. Oh God, his the the feelings on his son would be like ultra complicated. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't picture how that would be. Could you? Like, I don't think Gene would like. Well, okay, we don't even we don't know what happened with him and his and uh, and Gon's mother. Yeah, and I think we'll never know. I wonder if we're just too under leveled. Possibility. Uh, this isn't a fusion idea, but we were talking about like Lane and uh, and uh, Ed from Cowboy Bebop hanging out because they Just, would they uh, would like cover for each other. One's the super yeah. energetic hacker, and one's and the, the one's just a yeah. bear. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's like red oni, blue oni. We're just kind of Lane. A quiet, reserved. We still don't know really anything about Lane. This yeah, series is raising a lot, a lot more questions she's, than answers. She's interested in the wired. She wants to be a bear. She suffers from some kind of vague schizophrenia. That's plenty. Yeah. You want more information? After what, two you want, full you want to know her blood yeah. type? What her favorite food is? Does she like long walks on the beach? What yeah. are you what are you talking about? <laughs> I will tell you what, I think Lane's dad would be interested in in like hanging out with Ed. Because Ed have, would know about You're my Ed favorite daughter's friend. Yeah, that dad one. is the most personality in the series so far. Yeah, the, I like the most I like... emotion at least. I like Lane's dad. He's he's just <laughs> he's just a nice There's guy who likes computers. Maybe a, yeah. a, maybe a little too much, but I mean, this, at least he has passion. He's got six towers, and he's buying more. Why is he buying more towers? What is he mining for Bitcoin? <laughs> he's got to be mining for Bitcoin, right? Yeah. That's how he supports his family. He's doing hacker jobs on the side for Bitcoin. You gotta invest in cryptocurrency, bub. It's the way of the future. <laughs> okay, you restore the party's HP. You got a, a, a group heal. But it takes time to prepare. Damn Minotaurs. What if you fuse, uh... <sighs> hmm. Lane with Yuki. From Tarahi. You just have the same character, except except she identifies as an alien instead of a bear. She likes books, at least. Alien bear. Uh, what about Lane, Yuki, Boogie Pop, and Tsukiko Sagi? Wait, which it's one is the same Tsukiko? character? Paranoid agent. Oh, oh yeah, that 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 person. Uh, hmm. What if? Yes, mass healing. Go, Jack. Somebody did like a like a fan fiction in which uh, Kamina showed up in the Code Geass verse. Yeah, and he was able to turn like a oh I like just a saw the time. nightmare frame into a, into a Gurren like due to the power of spiral energy. Yeah, 
I just saw the time. We're gonna have to call it and come back to the dragon, aren't we? Yeah, we we are. It's about it's almost seven. Okay. You fuse uh you fuse uh Ang from uh from uh, you fuse Ang from La Last Airbender and uh and Oh the title music changes. And Kilua. Dean... <laughs> well, I mean, Kilua is trying to phase himself out of not killing, so it would be easier with Aang. Yeah. And he'd have wind, wind and electric powers and also being really fast. That would be... You would be up the fucking store. He'd become Raiden. Alua would be Raiden, yeah. <laughs> I think he'd be, he'd be... His personality would be slightly more snarkier. He'd have hair, obviously, as yeah. well as the tattoos. Uh... And uh, <laughs> that would that would be interesting because he would he would take the more pragmatic options. I think I think uh, Al Ang, Ang Luca would actually kill uh, the Fire Lord yeah. at the very end. Well, I wanted to finish this today. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. We'll have to yeah. uh, come back to the Dragon and the Dark Lord next time. And we will. We so will. thanks for watching, and we'll yep. see you guys soon. See you next time.